Hello! Welcome. It is time yet again for Subnautica Below Zero. Um, full disclosure. Ah, uh, yesterday, after getting home from work and recording today's episode and uh, editing it, I realized I was very tired, so I figured I'd better get a good night's sleep, because, you know, that's an important thing to do. So I went to bed in a prompt fashion and got the worst night of sleep that I've had in quite some time. So I'm very tired. <laughs> so <laughs> the possibility exists that this is going to be a little bit of a little bit of a short one. We'll see how it goes, of course. I think that possibly my chat's broken, but let me just make sure. I can never tell, you know. I just don't want to make any assumptions here. Now it looks like we're probably good. There we go. We're good. Look at how good we are. Excellent. Hello, hello, welcome. And gross lack of sleep. I agree. I'm not. I'm not big on it. It's um made for a bit of a long day, but we got through it, and now we're here. And I'm looking forward to playing this game. I just not might not be the quickest on the update. We'll see how it goes, of course. <laughs> so, yeah. Why don't we get right down to it then? Because basically the plan today is to figure out how to get fur off a dog without stabbing said dog. So, yeah. Right over here then. Pew. And then game sound, also important. Yeah, game sound. All right. I did do a little bit between sessions. I went back to base and I, um... Well, first off, I made myself a storage car for my truck and uh i hauled the truck back here with the storage car and also the prawn and i went down into the uh eye jellies cave and gathered a bunch of quartz and like copper and silver down there and some some more magnetite and then i came back up here and i fixed the spelling of kiwi gas because i spelled it like like how kiwi is actually spelled but of course you have to spell it the way that the the cat spelled it i also attempted to color this thing like the cat in question that named this thing, but that blue part, I can't do anything about it. And then I tried to give it white highlights, and this is basically the best that you can do. You can't really do much more. It seems like the uh, supplementary colors on the um, snow fox are a little bit understated, so there's really only so much to be done on that front. In any case, I do have an idea of where to start in terms of getting fur off a dog, but uh, it's just a guess. Simply a guess. It occurred to me at the end of last stream. Um, someone mentioned that I hadn't figured that out yet and that I had what I needed on hand, although they were not specific, and it occurs to me the spy penglings, the um, snow stalkers, the dogs in question that I need to get the fur off of, ignore penglings. So it's possible that I need to get my spy pengling out there, right, and blend in with the other penglings and then approach a snow stalker and just use my little claw to harvest fur. I don't know how well that's going to work out. It may very well be that that will cause the stalker to attack my pangling, in which case that's probably not what I, the answer I'm looking for. But, but, oh hey, I still got that bonus scanner just hanging out, huh? This is the one that I found in, um, in among Sam's equipment. So I should probably do something about that at some point. But, uh, uh hi. <laughs> Hello. Right, so in any case, we gotta go back into the dog zone, because, uh, because that's where the dogs are. Also, there's been a, lot of chat, a bunch of chat while I explain what it is that I'm planning on doing today, so let me get caught up on that before I go anywhere, silly. Hello, I have toast! Excellent! I approve of your toast. How to brushy dog get fur. I also have toast. And rice. Mm, nice. I am the only one here that does not have toast, and that is a shame, but it's okay. I, I, toast is not conducive to talking into a microphone, as it turns out. Mm. We are going to brushy. We're going to try. Tuxedo Snow Fox. It is a good effort. Go forth, brave little pengling. Ping dog Zone 2. Return to Dog Zone. Yeah, it's true. Here we go. Now, I haven't really put much thought towards um, exactly whereabouts it's going to be best to approach yonder dogs. I'm going to need to find some place that I can stand safely and... Why, why did that happen? I ran into an invisible wall. I think it just had not loaded Dog Zone pro properly just yet. It's not used to how fast I am on Snow Fox. Understood. Okay, dog zone. Mm -hmm. That's just falling icicles, as usual. Ah, ah yourself, Robin. 
There should be a dog in the lower level of this place, but basically I need some place that I can get a, a pangling over to a dog, but also not be spotted by said dog because uh, that would be highly counterproductive. Okay, so there is dog. There is dog. Is it going to see me? Oh, probably. But let's see if we can distract it. Well, the one of these. Okay. Off we go. Ready for my assignment. Let's see how we can do here. Can we just go down here? Okay. Well, there's the dog. It does not seem to see Robin, which is a good start. So. Okay. I do have concerns about how this is going to work out for my poor pengling here, but, um... We're gonna- we can only do the best we can, yeah? Danger of sweater approaching. Seek shelter. Attempt to collect fur. Well, there you go. Attempt to collect fur, huh? Alright, alright, well, let's attempt to collect fur. Hey, it worked! It worked, it didn't even notice! I'm just gonna... Don't- don't mind me. Okay. Cool, yeah, thank you. Have a good day now. I gotta just, excuse me, I'm just a pengling. I, I mean, no harm to anybody, obviously. So, great, well that worked out perfectly. <laughs> that could've, that could've. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Is that, what are you angry about? Are you angry about me? Are you angry about the pengling? What's the problem? You're angry about something. And I can't even see where you are anymore. Uh, okay, so where is, where is me? Where's my body? I am lost. Excuse me, hello, I am lost. Uh, uh, is that me up there? No, that's not me up there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, dog is, is fine. Either, either that or dog is currently staring at me in my flesh body. So let me go back, like, back to my flesh body and have a look. Okay, Pengla is only 36 meters that way. The dog is chilling. Perfect. Okay. All right. So you just got to figure out a way up onto the ledge that is roughly behind me, huh? Over there. Oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of natural stuff in the way between my, my flesh body and the dog. That's real convenient, that is. There I am! I've found it. And by it, I mean me. Okay, good, 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 good. So that's four fur right off the bat. Now, how many do I need? I've got one. I guess I should go through my blueprints and find out how many I do need. Dog is roaring. That's a bad sign. Are we good? Are we good? We're good. I don't know what the dog's roaring about, but it's not me. Fantastic. Okay. Hello there. Let me just grab all that. Beautiful. Okay, so how much fur do we need exactly? I wasn't expecting that to go quite as smoothly as it did, I'll be honest with you. Cold suit, two fur. Cold gloves, one fur. Helmet, one fur. Is that all I need? Did I take one extra fur? Just as a souvenir? I'm sorry, dog. I should have taken a selfie with the dog, huh? I didn't even think about it. I should have taken a selfie with the dog. I wonder if I can get one. Dangerous weather approaching. No. Seek shelter. I never seek shelter. I need no shelter. Gondor needs no shelter. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see how they feel about cameras. They don't mind if I grab their fur off with my tiny little claws, but maybe they'll have a problem with camera flashes. I mean, I have met dogs that really don't like having their pictures taken, so this could be an issue. We'll see what happens. If it poses, then this is the best game that ever existed. It's not going to pose, and that's okay. Really, that's not a discredit to this game that it's not going to pose. Uh, space? Space is B. Right click. There we go. There you are. Wow, it's almost posing even. <laughs> Why is the... Oh, because I'm far away. I'm far away from myself, and so the, the image is distorted. Well, that's a shame. Hey, don't go that way. Come this way. The signal's so disrupted. I can't take good selfies at this range. That's a shame. Hey. Oh, wrong button. Sorry, wrong button. Hey, dog. Dog. It does not care about my beeps. 
Really? You don't care at all? We're so far away, I can barely see a thing. Okay, all right. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming over. Okay, good, okay, good. We're gonna, we're gonna set up. We're gonna set up the stakeout. Here we go. Yes, you can. Why not? There we go, there we go. Okay, uh, that's kind of good. That's kind of good. We need to turn a little bit, a little bit. There we go. Kind of? Come on, dude, work with me here. I really don't want to. <laughs> Apparently I can't take a photo out farther from 40 meters. 40 meters away from my actual self. Ooh, I wish I was, uh, I was facing the wrong direction. Facing the wrong direction I was. It occurs to me it doesn't need to be a selfie, huh? I could just take a photo of him normal styles. That's pretty good. I, was, I think I got one with his jaws open. That might have to do. That might have to do. If only I could pet the dog while I'm pangling. I can't, can I? I can't, can I? Hi there. Hi. Hello. I can't look up. Hi. Belly rubs? Belly rubs per chance? Oh, kind of. It's almost like belly rubs, except I'm also ripping your fur out. Which I guess you don't mind? Maybe you have a bunch of extra. I don't know. Oh well, I did the best I could. <laughs> that's probably as close to petting a snow stalker as I'm going to get to come. That's a shame, but it's sometimes that's just the way life is. Why does this thing not have battery life, by the way? Or does it? It Probably I just can't check it while I'm driving it around, huh? Probably I do have battery life. That's okay. That's all right. Pengla. Is it is it is it a portmanteau of penguin and claw, or is it just a portmanteau of penguin and and law? I'm not sure which. Either way, either. On standby. On standby. Great. Well, good effort. Could not quite pet dog, or even get a respectable selfie, but that's okay. Man, it does look weird when it's this little pangling, but then it's got this big, creepy claw sticking out of it. Fortunately, the dogs don't seem to think so. So I guess that's fine. Nice work, Penglaw. Okay. Let me get back on my snow fox. Great. Well, that was remarkably easy, all things considered. So, why don't I catch up on chat and then we'll decide what to do next? Probably make a snowsuit. <laughs> that seems important. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at all the chat. My goodness, there's been quite a lot since I last looked. Terribly sorry. Howdy, hello. Do you need a tip on how to feed them the fruit? I did some research and I have a hypothesis for you to test for you. Oh, no kidding. I didn't actually bring any fruit with me because I figured I'd be okay with just the flares, but um, I'm interested in what your hypothesis is. Here we go, fuzzies. Oh my word, that works. Apparently, that's the way you're supposed to. I never even thought to try that. There's another method, but this is much easier. Gently grasp the snow stalker. <laughs> Shh, he hasn't found that yet. It'll be a wonderful surprise. Most people lose their head. Charky loses his body. I did. Why can't I delete it? You did it. You've, you've done it. Refresh chat. You've done it. Change from live to top and back or refresh the stream. Dog selfie. I did. No change? Hmm. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, for what it's worth, Jenny, I cannot actually see the message you have retracted, so don't, don't sweat it. Dog selfies forever. By the way, Sharky, that's me. This is also news to me. Hello. I did the harder way, too. There are some caves in around the southernmost bit of purple trees, other end of the tower, which I recommend exploring for your own personal amusement. So, okay. That's not close, but uh, I am here, so I may as well do it, I suppose. Sure. Got stuck in a long conversation with someone at the shop. Did I miss anything? I, 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 I pulled a bunch of fur off a dog. <laughs> with my tiny little graspy hands. So, yeah. We got dog fur. Aha, I win. Huzzah, you can indeed steal it right off the dogs. I went to my phone and could delete it there. Nice. Nice, that, that'll do it then. My iPad apparently hides the bottom half of the pop-up menu. The trash can is on. Well, that stinks. Pet the doggy! I choose to believe it is a penguin, and law and your, and your penguin is... A penguin and law, and your penguin is a tiny judge. Indeed. I... Since I'm playing Disco Elysium, I can't help but think of the protagonist of that one, since you have a lot of chances to, to declare that you are... You am the law. So that's what comes to mind for me, but then he'd need, uh... He'd need the mustache for sure. In any case... Executing Penguin Law. OFFS, I can actually scroll down in that little black box, and it doesn't give me any indication that I can scroll to find the delete ability. Wonderful UI design, YouTube. Yeah, well, what you gonna do? YouTube's UI is perfect and totally unbroken, and never has any problems at all. 
We are absolutely correct in all ways. We solved the deleting. You sure certainly did. And well done, because I have no idea what you're talking about. And that's exactly as it should be, I suspect. All right, so... So I gotta go to the south end of the purple trees, huh? Well, that is a ways away, but let's have a look here at... Logs, maps, glacial basin. So I gotta go across this gap again. Or wait, I don't have to do that. Do I should have the inventory space to go through the back way, though. This is the jump I was thinking of, but I don't need to take the jump. I can just go up here, pick up my snow fox, climb up the ladder, go down through the caves, and into the purple trees without having to navigate the maze that is this zone. So, back towards the truck. I'll just ride this right up until the point that I reach the, uh, the ladder, and we'll go from there. Should be just up here if I know what I'm talking about, which I think I do. For anyone who showed up a little bit late, uh, just a repetition of a thing that I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I am, despite my best efforts, exceedingly sleep deprived today. So if we wind up cutting the stream a wee bit short so that I can get some actual rest, then that's what we're gonna do. I don't expect necessarily that that's gonna, gonna happen, but we're gonna take it as it comes. And if it turns out that that is what's gonna be the best idea, then that's what I'm gonna do because, uh, yeah, I, I tried to get good rest yesterday because I could tell that I was kind of pushing it, and then I got a, just a wretched night's sleep. Did not, did not satisfy at all, so we're going to have to give it another try. And if that means I got to make weird, uh, special, if that means I have to take special measures in order to do so, then that's what I'm going to do. go. Did I ever go in there? Because this is where the water is, right? Maybe? Did I get lost? I don't remember this cave. Okay, we got peppers. Peppers are nice. I do enjoy me some peppers, which is weird, because actually I don't. Dogs! Dogs. Okay, okay, all right. Well, I got flares, so we should be okay. Hi! No, thank you. I brought fire. Would you like some? Hi! It's funny how they really... They don't defend themselves whatsoever, as long as you have the flare out. Wow, that's impressive. How did you do that? You've got some of your swimming instincts left over from before evolution, huh? You just stepped through the air, which is very impressive, I must say. This leads to... Oh, I just went in a big circle. So is all that there is in here... This hole? Huh. Well... What's the point of this? Ah, hush, 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 hush. I'm leaving. I'm going. I guess I'll just, uh, hop in. Perfectly safe. Why could anything go wrong in such a situation as this? Okay, so it's just another way into here. I'm not sure why this exists, but I accept it. It's just a cave with a dog and a water hole. Fine. That's just fine. It is fortunate for me that that dog doesn't feel like coming out of the cave. Although, again, I do have... Whoops, 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 that's not what I wanted. I do have, um... I do have flares for such occasions. But... That's alright. Is there anything else here that I should be worried about? Or concerned with? Or interested in exploring? Seems like no. Seems like no. Oh, hey, that... Alright, I forgot. If I go off any ledges, I take a bunch of damage, don't I? Let's fix that up. Because I don't feel like taking any dang chances with this thing. Alright. And away we go. Just gotta scoot to the other side of this cave. And then dodge some dogs on the other side. And we'll be in business. Perhaps. I should have a look at where I'm trying to go. Here? I went here. I don't know if I ever went here. Perhaps that's what you were talking about? 
Let me see here. Oh, there's been a bunch of chat again. I'm sorry. I really got to check more frequently, huh? I'm working on it. You are absolutely correct in all ways. Uh, we shan't ever tell. You should sleep, Sharky. It's okay. I, I will, eventually. <laughs> Slab. Well, I'm having serious low blood pressure issues, so a short stream works for me. My brain hurts is in my, and it's mildly oxygen deprived. That sounds miserable. I'm sorry to hear it. Take care of yourself. Cave. Oh, no, Jenny. I hope you'll be okay, as do I. Insert wise Scottish accent. A handful of rest is better than a driving after the wind. I could do a Scottish accent, and it would be terrible and embarrassing, and probably you don't want to hear that. Hole. Hopefully I will be. I called a friend to come sit with me until my partner gets home, although we have gone a bit back and forth on going to the ER. Well, I, yeah, I'm glad that you have gotten in touch with someone, and I hope for the best with that scenario. That sounds very stressful, and I hope things resolve smoothly for you. Um, yeah, fingers crossed for you. Exactly what Felix said. Bad med switch should settle down in a day or so, but still. Yeah, that's that sounds like a bad time. Hoping for the best. We unstitched the meds. They just need to get out of my system. Right, you just need to clear out the system. I get you. Okay. Unswitched rather than unstitched. That makes sense. I'm so sorry for your health struggles. You have the soul of a warrior when you have to deal with health issues of any kind. Indeed. Phew, that's something at least. Med changes and going off them is rough, though. Hopefully it resolves quickly. For sure. Concur on all fronts. That's, that's exceedingly rough, and I, I do hope that it goes smoothly. I'm really glad you've got someone who can come and sit with you until you got... Uh, until you're, until you're safe. Okay. I think this is where I'm going. Hopefully I didn't get turned around while I was reading chat. I do that sometimes. But I think I didn't this time. Okay. So then we just drop this guy. Bonk. And off we go. Ah! All right. Let's see here. Don't really remember the way through this cave, but I suspect it's fairly one track. There we go. No problem. None problems. This way. Okay. So I should be at the northwestish corner. Northeastish corner, rather, and so I just need to go this way. Ideally. There's probably at least a dog. Possibly two dogs, but they are much slower than I am, sort of. And if they are not slower than I am, I have fire. So we'll take it as it comes. Okay, let's see here. I remember checking out that platform not to not much avail, but I don't think I went any further south than that. Sounds like a second dog, that does. Maybe this here? This seems to correspond with roughly what I remember off of that map. Uh, this looks like specifically Snow Fox proof. Hmm. Dangerous weather approaching. Oh, fine. Well, Dangerous that way about weather enough. approaching. Wait. Okay, for a second there I thought she was going to repeat Dangerous weather approaching every time I opened up the menu and closed it again. And I was going to... Um, abuse that for a moment, but then it didn't happen, so we're all lucky. We're all fortunate in that regard. Um, this feels a lot like a dead end. There's titanium, more titanium. Is that genuinely all we got down here? It seems like it. Unless there's like a way I can vault up onto these ice structures, but I doubt it. I'm not known for my vaulting capacities, you know. So perhaps this is just a, an alcove where you can hide from the dogs and gather some titanium while things cool down. Perhaps. Cool down is probably the wrong term for it. Wait, wait. That's where I came from? Give me that. Give me that. Mm. That's not something, is it? No. That's a wall. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Wait, is there something going on down here? through the ice. It doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. Backtracking then. Same to you. 
back out here. Back out here, there we go, okay. You did specifically say the south end, which should... I'm only at the southwest at the moment, if, I, if I'm understanding this right. I think this is where I am. So maybe somewhere in here... Let me go back to the original message. Let me go back to the original message. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Caves and, and are in and around the southernmost bit, most bit of purple trees. Caves. Specifically caves. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Du -du -du. Your quartz. Oh, hey, Shashbone. I wasn't talking to you. Uh, you left that here last time. Did I? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Watching the stream is a big improvement over worrying and fussing. Quartz. That's one thing I always seem to be short on here. Yeah, yeah, me too. And it's a shame that I had to drop a whole bunch of it. I don't know if that was the quartz that I dropped, since I dropped like five in one location, and that was only the one. But either way, I gathered a whole bunch of it from the eye jellies cave, so we shouldn't be in too bad a way once, once I get out of here. I'm coming to gently feed you quartz. <laughs> Crunchy. Me too, and sorry to hear about your health struggles. Jenny, fingers crossed that you don't have to go in today. For sure. Me too with running out of quartz. There should be caves around here somewhere, if I recall correctly. Well, wishes from me as well. I'm no stranger to med chain to nightmares and feel for you. Cool down. Chill with hypothermia. Yeah. Great stuff. Yellow. Hello, Tama. Welcome back to the stage of history. Um, so caves, huh? Caves. Please, thank you. Since it's weirdly warm on this thing. Okay, it would be nice if I wasn't going backwards down a slope, but uh, I guess I can't have what I want in this particular instance. This thing doesn't have a... No. I was... I've done that before. I've tried to do the horn button, the beep beep button for the uh, pangling while I'm on the snow fox, and of course it doesn't work. Uh, well, this isn't exactly a cave. This is a... Pangling, a spy penguin, pangling cave. I don't remember if I went in here. Wait, is this the... No, this is not the one that had the antidote in it. This is another one. Alright, well, let's investigate. Wait, maybe this is the same one? No, no, this feels different. But that guy does have a clear line of sight on me, and that's a little bit worrisome. All right, well, let's go ahead and hotkey this, just in case. We get the pangling and the dip All right. Doesn't look like he's noticed me yet, so maybe we'll be all right. Agent online. Indeed you are. Get in that cave, why don't you? Cave, cave. Well, it's kind of an open-air thing, isn't it? It's not actually a cave. Exactly. But it does look like there's some stuff in here. What's all this? This looks like something that I need to come to in person. I can download a PDA data here. I guess do that. Glacial research log number 2A. I can't look at it here, though, so I just need to remember that it's there. Is that all that there is here? I can barely see a thing. Quartz. I guess I could grab a little quartz while I'm here. A little more quartz. Hey, that's magnetite, that is. Give me that. Thank you. And it does seem like all the resources in this particular alcove are all on this side of the room, which suggests that the only way you can get in here is via spy pangling. So, perhaps that's all I was meant to find in here. Alright. That's enough of that, I suspect. Great, okay. Give me that stuff, please. Thank you. And let's look at this data bank. Altera, Glacial Research Log number 2A. So, oh, it's Sam. Danielle at Omega Lab ran samples on the ice cores we pulled, and she says this glacial ice formed unusually fast. Half the microorganisms from the samples aren't even native to this planet. How does that work? She said they'd name a, a eukaryote after me, but maybe she was just being nice. I'm going to get some more data, like ASAP. Hmm, and Vin said there's some unusual geothermal activity that's caused, causing the glacial basin to collapse faster than expected. Could you use some of that geothermal, 
geothermal heat in the station. Yeah, I'd imagine. Uh, half the microorganisms weren't even native to this planet. How does that work? Were they brought here by the friggin' architects, or what are we looking at here? That's a heck of a thing to just drop and leave. Unless they, unless they were microorganisms that came off of you all, <laughs> and it just froze since you got here, but that doesn't seem likely. Hmm. I don't know. But the fact that 2A exists suggests that there's probably a 2B, so maybe I need to look for more caves or something. Also, my spy pangling has full batteries, so maybe you just don't use batteries while using a spy pangling? That seems weird. Dog over yonder. Whoa! That's not what I was going for. That's not what I was going for. We're safe. We're okay. We're all right. That seemed like it could have completely destroyed my bike. Why don't I catch up on chat before I proceed? Do do do. Tom arrives. Everything, everything should have beep beeps. Agreed. Another one! It saddens me that this is not so. I seem to remember the sea truck having a horn, but I do not remember the button. Beep beep. If anyone knows it, feel, knows it, feel free to put in chat. Agreed. PDA, I completely forgot this was here. Implying that this place was frozen on purpose, I assume. Probably by the architects or maybe a geological event. That could be. Meteor or something. I don't think the sea truck does have a horn. Everything Google has to say about it is various forum posts saying, The sea truck needs a horn. <laughs> huh, I must be misremembering then. I don't know why I have such vivid horn memories. They were fans of experimenting, for sure. They were, it's true. Kind of uh, without regard to um, morality in some instances. Not that, you know, we can really criticize them on that front, given that our local experimenters are mostly Altera, and they're, if anything, worse than anybody else. Okay, so this path... Was that a pangling noise? I keep hearing that noise and not understanding it, but I think that's a penguin noise. It seems like a weird noise for a penguin to make, but I guess I'm not in a position to judge. Dog cave. Huh. Alright, well, I have fire, so this is okay. I hope that two dogs can't gang up on me when I have fire and have... Wait, whoa, whoa. Wait, baby! Wait, 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 baby! Wait, hold it, that's a baby! I thought the other one looked tiny because of distance, but no, it looks tiny because that's a baby! That's a baby dog, that is. You might say a puppy. Whoop, 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 hi! No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Go ahead and flee and leave your babies behind, it's gonna be fine. Juvenile Snowstalker, Juvenile Snowstalker, hi! Okay, let's have a look. Juvenile Snowstalker. Wait, why is that not actually an entry? Do I have to scan several of them in order to get the data I need? Perhaps I do. What is that noise? I don't know. Okay. Dog is following me. Juveniles are here. No, no, apparently I got all the data I needed. Okay, so maybe it's just in, in the Snowstalker heading. There's just an update or something. Let's have a look. Not Altera. Research. Uh, indigenous life forms, fauna, carnivores, Snowstalker. Anything about juveniles? No. <laughs> no, there's there's not in fact anything. Okay, okay. Well, I scanned them. I can't take one, which is probably just as well because I take everybody else's babies after all. Hello. But um Oh, hey, Snowstalker fur. Just lying around for the taking. I guess this would be the um the somewhat harder way to gather it, huh? hunting through their actual caves and nests and whatnot. Although there is enough snowstalker fur just in this one cave for everything I need to build. Hi. Hello. I have no reasonable good way of interacting with all these little babies, so I guess I should just leave, huh? <laughs> I guess I should just leave. I am glad that I found... Glad that I discovered the babies. 
What is... What is that noise? Seriously. Nothing makes that noise. Are there penguins up on top and it just resonates through the cave beneath them, or what? No idea. None idea. It's a mystery. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Baby sighted. I'm going to go get a cheesecake brownie and be right back. That sounds delicious. Baby alert. Baby. Baby, I'll wait. Real puppy. The babies. That noise is snow stalkers. Oh, is that noise? Is that baby noise? Is that a baby noise? Also, maybe check the snow stalker entry just to make sure it's not in there. That noise is Babby. They're snoring. I love it. It is pretty great. Pat Babby. I can't. Babby. Baby. There's an angry adult nearby, so that might be hard. Baba Steel. <laughs> they are snoring. Fucking moment. That's a terrible zzz noise that I just made. I don't know where it came from. This is where I get it. Put away your flare your cl when close to baby. Oh, more to be found. Then can have pets? I think that's the doggo noise, isn't it? Adult noise. I see. I see. I see. Okay, okay. So go in there, mislead the adult, stand near baby, put away flare. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Pick up snow. But there's something else besides snow here. <laughs> there's something else besides snow here. You say there's something else, but I don't see anything else. Also, why are they living in a cave with all these, um... We'll deal with these peppers when they do not eat yet said peppers. Man, this is a lot of fur. This is way more fur than I could ever need. Okay, well, I cannot seem to interact with Babby. Unless it's just a matter of my inventory is too full to do something. Like, maybe I am supposed to try and steal Babby? It's possible I'm trying to steal Babby. Why don't I put down the snow fox? That'll give me some inventory space. Like so. And then... And then... No. <laughs> I can do nothing. I can do nothing. Well, fine. Well, fine, I tried. That noise! What is that? No, not the upgrades. Just get on the dang thing. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Let me check chat again. <laughs> hmm... Baby has to be awake. Scanning a baby will just give you an adult entry if you didn't already have it. How to whack Babby? Oh, they are so eepy. No, why no pets allowed? You can't when they're eepy. Yeah, they have to be awake. Wait for day. That would be my assumption. The wow is baby. I do wish you could have pets, pet Babby, like own one. That would be amazing. So I have to wait until daytime. And I don't think, like I could, I could swing by the, um, I could swing by Fi. and but I'm pretty sure you can't use other people's beds, which is a shame. Oh, hi. Are you actually going to follow me out here? I wish you wouldn't. You're not. Well, that's just as well. You have babies to defend. It does seem like the sun is rising also. So it should be about time soon. Covert baby pet operation. Whoops, that wasn't what I meant to do. <laughs> Aside from which, I don't really need to drink it. I can just um, gather some peppers while I'm in here. Hi. Hi. This ledge is bigger than I want it to be. Hi. Flare. Flare. I have flare. Therefore, I'm immune to you. For some reason. It's very scary. It's just incredibly scary, despite the fact that it's never done anything negative to you at all. I guess I don't know that for sure. I don't know your history. Maybe you've had some bad fire experience. Certainly, you prefer the cold to the hot, I must assume. Oh, they're, they're awake. One of them's awake. One of them is awake. That one's awake, too. But there's a guy. Hi. Have this. Have it. Have it. It's very scary. Yes, see? It's scary. Go away so I can hang out with your kid. Hello, child. Hello, child. Interact. Oh, ho, ho. oh boy. Great. Dangerous. Please don't... No biteies? Apparently, you only get the one try. You get the one try... They try and take your hand off, and now you have to leave them alone. I see. So they kind of like the petting, but they also kind of want to eat your hand. Okay. Well, that's totally fair. <laughs> if I was them, I would also want to eat my hand. 
Indeed. Yarm. Hi. 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 Yes, I see you there. It's fine. I have fire. See? See, it's cool. But the baby fears not fire. Interesting. The baby does fear fire. The baby does fear fire? Why can I interact with you again? Because you stopped growling? Uh-huh. Maybe there's just a bad point on the chin that if you get that far down, they're just like, no, stop it. Screw you. Could be. Unclear. Their eyes do go wide just briefly before they uh, attempt to eat your hand, so... I'm guessing it's something like that. In any case, I am I am quite glad to have had the opportunity to at least try to pet ye babby. I got a little bit in, and that's gonna have to be good enough, huh? Because <laughs> the other ones aren't even gonna give me that much of a chance, unfortunately. Unless, unless, unless you can pet them if you make them high. Didn't even consider that, but chances are good they would just go to sleep and if you're not able to pet them when they're sleeping, you're not able to pet babies when they're sleeping, then I suspect that's not going to happen, huh? I just wandered off and I didn't pay attention to where I was going. Um, shoot. <laughs> I need a landmark. What's this here? This is probably where I got that log from earlier. Because then across the way... Yes, across the way is a stalker. Okay, so this is the place where I got that log. If 2A is here, metagaming-wise, I would say that 2B is probably going to be somewhere around the perimeter of this place in one of those other caves that I skipped. This way just leads to that little dead end that has nothing. I did injure my snow fox earlier. Better keep that an eye on that. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be another cave on this end of things. Unless I'm missing it entirely. Which is possible. Certainly. But there should be that little beacon next to most of the holes you can put your pengling in, after all. And that makes a little makes a noise, a distinctive noise. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that they didn't put any pangling holes in the middle of this clearing with the purple trees. So maybe if I just check the perimeter, we'll be alright. Maybe. Also worth bearing in mind that wow, I hope nobody's getting seasick off of this business. This is going all over the place. Uh I hope uh, it's worth bearing in mind that the one that I got the PDA from within um, wasn't marked on the map. Very specifically, was not marked on the map, so I don't know what that means. Nothing good for the uh, speed of my search, that's for sure. Okay, so this is the path that leads to the water hole that leads you back to Phi, if I'm not mistaken. So let me catch up on chat again real quick, and then we'll make some decisions. Dee -dee -dee. It is Snowstalker purring. My assumption that it's that that's how, you, how Maida got Preston. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Then you'd eventually get a giant dog who you could feed purple weed fruits. I see. Maida's no stranger to baby theft. <laughs> again, I have a hypothesis. Spawn Snowstalker Juvenile 1 is often used in my bases if they're above water. <laughs> Spawn Precious Little Baby. You can also feed them fish. Baby fish gnomes. Anyway, that was what I thought you would enjoy. Yes, sight of Little Baby. I did enjoy it, so thank you. They're like cats. Got overstimulated by pats. It doesn't take much, but yes. Snowstalker Zoomies, do not give the children weed. <laughs> yep, you have to keep it. Whatever you're feeding Snowstalkers in your hand and let them come to you. I like making them high better than waving sparklers at them. <laughs> Dizzy. I close my eyes and listen instead. No sativa for Baba. Not to metagame, but I can't find 2B on the wiki. So I don't get to... So I think don't get too hung up on it. Okay, fair. All right. I'm still going to do one quick patrol around the perimeter to make sure there's not another obvious thing that I've missed. Wait a second. Why does this look different? Is that not the way to the water? No, that, I swear that is. There's just a ledge up here that I don't know if I ever came up on. Oh, this is a dog place. 
Yes, that is a dog place. Confirmed dog place. And I've dealt with that dog in particular before, I think. Because I think there's a cave over this way that I explored. And all it had in it was crystals. What's this? I have no idea. It looks like every other cave. It does not appear to have dog. Hmm. Picks you up and then let's see here. Hey, boxes. First aid kit, sure. Lubricant. Why not, I guess. Um and fiber mesh. Why are they trying to give me so much lubricant and fiber mesh around here? I don't know. I guess fiber mesh can be used to make first aid kits. Maybe that's what that's going for, but I don't know what the lubricant's all about. Is there something that you need to make around here that takes lubricant? I don't think so. This way I came? I think... Yes. In which case... That's where I just was. That's with the chests. Yeah, it's, it's a big circle, question mark? It's a big circle, exclamation point. Okay. Okay, alright. So it's just a little alcove, got a few items in it, hidden around the corner, then you go out because there's nothing else to do here. Sure, sounds good. Sounds good. How did I get the snow fox this far in? Like that, okay. Understood. Same to you. What is that? Water! Water? How... How did I manage this? <laughs> okay. Well, hi there, I have fire, don't worry about it. It's, it's cool, we're cool, hello. Learned my lesson about picking up penguins, though. I get bit. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. My entire body was very confused about that interaction. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. 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 Good day. I'll be over here. <laughs> right over here. Right this way. Right over here. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, careful. Pardon me, Pengling. Please don't get hit by my vehicle. This is the place that I had to go into that cave to get the antidote. I remember that dog. I had to go through tribulations with that particular dog. Which means we're accidentally, accidentally out of the purple tree section, which is not something I was trying to do. So I don't know how I've accomplished this. I just wandered off. Again. Perhaps the thing to do is head out then. If I'm not going to find any more caves, or goodies inside caves, perhaps the thing is to head back to base and regroup. And make myself a, a, uh, a winter suit, so I no longer have to panic about freezing to death, or at least I can panic a little less. I don't remember how to... Since I didn't actually mean to leave... Okay, here we are. We're, we're back at Purple Trees. Okay, good. Okay, good. I just totally left the clearing. <laughs> didn't even notice it happening. I was too focused on caves, or the searching for such. For searching for safe. Yeah, I think let's just go home. Yeah, I probably could have gone out past the, um... Past the Antidote Cave... But honestly, I feel like I would, my chances of getting lost at that point would have been very high. So, let's just do this. It's overall simpler. I'm pretty good at getting lost in this game at the best of times, and I am not at my full capacity at the moment, so. 
that chunk of tree right there looked like a copper vein, and I was like, how am I supposed to get a prawn over here? I guess walking, but that would take a while, man. I wonder if the dogs are dumb enough to attack a prawn. Probably, yeah. Territorial and carnivorous, they'll probably attack whatever you come by in. But I would rather not risk that. Hey, there's the there's the quartz I dropped. There it is. And I do not have room for it. <laughs> I can pick up one. Sure. That's fine. Matter of fact, I'm actually going to drop the fiber mesh and the lubricant because I have a garden at home and I can get that stuff easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Well, there we go. Full inventory? Yes. All right. Gonna need that. Need is a bit of a strong word. I could probably swim my way over at my normal sluggish human pace, but why would I? Why, in fact, would I? I haven't checked chat in a while, huh? Once I get to the other side of this cave, I will do that. I don't know why I'm waiting until I get to the other side of the cave. It's not like being underwater is particularly unsafe in this game, particularly when you pause, but whatever. That's what I'm doing. Here we are. What was that? Ice cube. I mean, icicle. Not the same thing. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> I made a base in this area to scan for magnetite, and it's so nice to observe the doggies, I bet. I love the snow fox, it's so fun to ride. It's pretty great. It's, uh, it can be a little bit queasiness-inducing if you, um, if you go off of rocks in the wrong fashion, but it's very convenient, I must say. It's certainly much better than running. It's my preferred vehicle to explore Redacted because I love to go zoom, and that place is made for zoom. I can't wait till Sharky goes there. I think some of the stuff in the boxes, stuff in the boxes, is to set a feeling of what the people here were doing as well as be useful to the players. Story ambiance, that makes sense. Me neither. That was my thought too. This place is such a maze. So easy to go in circles. Nom 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 goes Snow Puppy. Snow Puppy said, you look delicious! I mean, I probably do. Winter suit is something to keep on your sea truck, in my opinion, when you're not using it. That would seem to make sense. Ice cube! It's a different thing. Basically, as I was getting out of the water there, I, um, got smacked to the side by what I believe was a falling icicle. Wait. This way. Anyway, that's what I was wondering about. Um, clearly I've done something wrong, but the question is what exactly have I done wrong? Maybe this is correct? Maybe this is correct. Right, right, this way. I just got a little turned around. But I remember that cave on the left. That was the one that had a dog in it. And not babies. Just a dog in a hole. And I jumped in a hole, and I wound up in that other passageway. And it was fine. What it, What happened here? I guess that chunk of titanium there is a chunk of this snow fox. When the person crashed there, this part landed here and cr formed a little crater because it was so uh, superheated, I guess? I don't know. I hadn't noticed those little craters with titanium in them before, you know? That's why it caught my attention. Hop down here, take a little damage. Take more damage than I want to, actually. <laughs> Let's fix that. Uh, ah! Okay. It occurs to me I'm going to have a little bit of difficulty here for a second. So I'm going to make it back to the landing pad, but then not be able to collect the landing pad. Because I don't have the inventory space for it. Unless I'm currently riding the snow fox. Uh, it'll, it'll work out, it'll work out. It'll work out. I can collect the, I can collect the charging pad. Ow. I can collect the, the charging pad. And then just not put the snow fox away until I get down to where the truck is. And then I can try and load what I've got into the truck. Why is that red button on my right handle glowing like that? It looks it looks like I've got a message or something. That thing there. 
I cannot push it. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I guess let's not worry about it. Perhaps it's just, uh, I don't know, decorative or something. Okay. Go ahead and get you fully charged up because I'm going to have to go through a tight little cave. Meantime, I'll go over here and eat some peppers. I think there are peppers in here. How is the... How is the hail falling through the ceiling of this cave? Stop it. That shouldn't be happening. There, thank you. At least it pays attention, I guess. Beautiful, that'll do. Are you fully charged up yet? I know it's fast. How you doing? Not yet, but we're close. Do you stop charging if I have you hovering like that? No, you're still charging. Good. Good, good, good. There we go. So now we board. And there we go. Hop off. And now we need to disassemble this guy. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Like this. Firing kit. Titanium. Two titanium. That's really not that much that goes into building that thing. So I suppose it's not the end of the world if I have to leave it behind. Still, it seems wasteful. Can I go under there? Wow, that must have been unpleasant on the top of my head. Just scraping it along, scraping it along, scraping it along a rock ceiling at speed. Seems bad for you. And here we are. Okay. Now the thing is, I did put a lot of stuff in my truck storage, so I may not have that much room. But let's see what I can do here. We got anything in here? We don't! Well, that's perfect. And just to show you what the, uh... This is the storage car. It's, um... The storage in the storage car is split up into five sections, which is kind of weird. So you have a, a... We have two three-by-fives over here. And then you got... A three-by-six here. And then these two little three-by-fours. And that you can see those are the resources that I gathered. I was sort of hoping it would be like one or two big storage things rather than a bunch of little ones like this, but it's still better than nothing. And I guess it gives you the capacity to do some classification of what you're carrying, you know? Change the locker names or whatnot if you felt like it. I just haven't done anything like that. All right, well, let me go get my snow fox. Pack up. All right. And away we go. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. What about the... Th what about, um... What about... Okamo. This. Creep vine seed cluster for gel sacks. Trivial to make at home, impossible to make here. Okay. Because it occurs to me that there is that bridge that I still haven't fixed. I know I was warned off of that as being spoiler-tastic at some point, but I don't know if that's still true. In either case, I can't do it right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Which way is home? Behind you, probably. Not behind you. This way. Okay. Let's head home. Try and catch up on chat as I'm doing so. Never mind, there's more than a full screen over there. Hang on. <laughs> Scrolling up. Let's see here. The titanium in a crater is a meteorite from space! Remember, this area gets regular meteor showers. That would do it. Snow, I see. You came down in one, like the meteorites you used to hide your entry. Kablam! Oh, you'll like that button. I don't know how to trigger it on a computer keyboard. Huh. So that, that is actually a button, the red thing on my right handlebar. KR, I'm still alive. I only play on computers, so I don't know what it is. Care to share? You never push that button. It's the zoom button. Oh, if it's a zoom button, then I know how to do that. That's left shift. <laughs> I just had never noticed that it's that button. Don't 
Oh, right. No, I've gotten zoom. I just, it's just not associated with that button. Hmm. Flashing means it's charged up, doesn't it? I mean, the meter's on the other side, but still. Maybe. Maybe you're right. I wish there had been a data point of how Maida decided she was lonesome enough to train a doggy, a sweet moment in a hard-fought life. That would be neat. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I caught a stream. You did. Hello. Welcome. Storage lockers. Yeah. Yeah. Glad you can make it. As am I. What days the Sharky stream? Uh, Wednesdays and Sundays uh, in terms of Central USA time. Uh, evenings on Wednesdays and Sundays, typically. Occasionally a Saturday, but that's pretty rare. Usually it's Sundays and Wednesdays. At one point, the Wednesdays were optional, and they kind of no longer are. Because I like streaming! I don't know! <laughs> oh no, it's never a spoiler. You would just have been very confused due to the size of the area, but now there's no reason not to go there. Got it. Okay. Okay, so we'll have to come back here at some point. Possibly immediately, but we'll... Let's go home for now. I do want to go to Omega. But I also have no idea where Omega is, aside from, you know, it's amorphously in the lily pad islands. Oh, wait. This is grapevine clusters, but I don't think I have access to gel sacks over here. It's, it's simpler just to go home and use the garden. Never mind, I was getting weird ideas. Sorry. That must have looked like I switched steering for you. I technically wasn't. Oh, but hey, I've damaged my truck, which means that I can then park it in my truck charging tube and see if it does, in fact, repair it. Because there was some suggestion that it might. I never got a chance to confirm, so yeah. I will test that particular theory right now. The truck tube is unfortunately on the, sorry, on the far side of this particular burger. Hello. Oh, it's Marit. Hi. Wasn't sure if Marit was still around, but Marit's still around. <laughs> I keep debating if I'm going to continue calling that shark Marit, but really, I, I must at this point. I must. <laughs> Okay, we're here. We're home. So, Snow Fox. It's a bike and it hovers. Indeed it is. Well, where am I going to put that thing while I'm not using it? Ah, we can put it in the power closet. Or is this one empty now? This one's not empty, but it only has a storage module in it. So we'll put it in there. This can be the vehicle-related materials closet. Not that it has a friggin' label on it. I'd have to spend all the copper in the world in order to do that. Also, I put these posters up. They're weirdly skewed to the left. I am guess I'm fine with it. So, yeah. Um, train of thought. Right, I need, to, I need to unload all this stuff from my freaking truck is what I need to do. Because there's a bunch of stuff in there and it's going to take a few trips. Also, my storage locker room is exceedingly <laughs> inconvenient now, but at least these guys do look a little happier. The whale is enormous now. Still not actually whale-sized, but substantially larger than than the previous container would allow. Also, here's the eye jelly. Check it out. It doesn't look at me, though. Which I guess is fine. It's also a great deal more active than the other eye jellies, which suggests it's uncomfortable, which is a shame. Uh, let's see. Organic materials. Organic materials. Here we go. Snow for our soccer fur... I'm gonna need that immediately, but friggin' whatever. Let's go get the rest. First, let's clear this out. Quartz and titanium and magnetite and wiring kit, right, because that's for the charging pad for the snow fox. I should really put that in with the snow fox, which is here. Yes. Two of those and this wiring kit. Okay. Use all that at the same time and do not forget. Alright. I will try. This is the wrong one. This is the wrong one. Wow, I'm getting really low on gold, gold, lead, and lithium, huh? Hmm. Bear that in mind for the future. Quartz. I'm going to need another locker for quartz, the, the amount I brought back. But as soon as I figure out how to make glass ceilings for this place, I want to make all sorts of windows and whatnot, so... Hmm. I'm going to need it, but in the meantime... Oh, hey, there's more quartz here. Cool, that'll work. That'll work. 
I didn't put the other magnetite in here, did I? No. Probably it's in with the... Yeah, yeah, here we go. Magnetite. That's a good amount of magnetite. Good stuff. Also, Sam's necklace. I wonder if I'm supposed to carry that with me or if I should display it somewhere. Like here. Next to her drawing. Can I do that? I can do that. For now, I will put it here. Nice. Also next to Fred's mustache shaving kit, which for some reason I have. <laughs> Seems a bit weird to find that and be like, I'm going to put that on display, but that's what I've done. What you gonna do? So we're good on this one. Now we just need to clear this stuff out. Look at all that quartz. Can I even fit all this at once? I can. Got any more? I do have more. Exactly as much room as I had. Fan. Fantastic. Now, the quartz was in these ones, right? Yes. This is still not going to all fit, is it? Wow. <laughs> it fit exactly. And also, I put this battery in there. So, no, it didn't fit exactly. There was room. There was extra room, even. Great. Great. Well, that's wonderful. To the truck. That's empty. This is empty. This got magnetite. This is stop renaming things. We got copper, and we got s quite a lot of silver actually. There's a decent amount of silver in those um, veins in the walls down by the eye jelly nests, which is where I got all the magnetite, silver, and copper that I gathered. Incidentally, in case you were curious. Nothing you hadn't already seen. It was just stuff that I saw and ignored earlier, and then was like, you know what? I actually need that stuff. So here we are. Okay. Magnetite goes... Here? No. Here? Yes. Given that I do have sources on copper, I should probably go around and make some s labels on those things eventually, huh? Then again, I wonder if I should wait to do that until I theoretically make a third base. But here's the thing. I don't know when exactly I'm intending to make that third base. <laughs> like, that's not not a not an insignificant time investment. And it turns out that the storage unit on my truck is not nearly so spacious as I thought it was going to be. So if I want to haul a substantial amount of stuff, I'm gonna have to build more of these. And that means I need more lead and planning, etc, etc. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if and when that's going to happen. Here's the thing about that. All right. Truck is empty. No, it probably isn't. No, it probably isn't, is it? Anything in there? Oh, hey, don't! Wow, I actually cleaned that out. That was more foresight than I expected to exhibit. Great! Great. Well, then we're good. All right, let me catch up on chat. It's been a while. Sorry, I was moving stuff. You've passed very close to Omega several times. I believe it. I've been all over the place in the lily pads, but not towards the top, which isn't where I'm guessing it is. I'm glad, it, now that I think on it, that when I was over there looking for sea monkey nest chunks to research that I didn't accidentally stumble across it. That would have been... That's not something I would want to do off-stream. <laughs> uh, uh, I know precisely where Omega is, and I can never find it on a fresh playthrough. Yay, Mart, made, made the stream in a fashion. <laughs> it's true. I know you're already here. Beyblade fish. <laughs> Sharky channeling fiddler on the roof. Tradition! Tradition! I got so f frustrated with how much space the Snow Fox took up with an inventory one playthrough that I just made like 10 of them, left them all over the place. The base is all over the place. I see. It was so nice. That would be convenient. I just noticed chat is above Sharky. Uh, yes, there it is. I didn't have anything else to put there, and I wanted to figure out a way to get chat shown. I also wanted to do, I wanted to figure out a way to make it transparent and not quite so, here's a giant black box with an interface at the bottom as if I was going to ta type in a chat or something like that, but I haven't figured that out yet. Maybe someday. I gotta do some deep research. It may require me to like actually learn how to do the programming language necessary to change the box, and that's gonna take a lot of doing. Huh? It is magic. I'm glad you're still alive. Yes, me too. 
I had to step out and miss the appearance of Fish Me. It, yes, Fish, Fishy was here. So much silver. Any future Altera investigator find Jenny's many setups. There was a whole horde of them. <laughs> Altera, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Just smoking my nose in very briefly as I run about getting ready for D&D. All right on. Enjoy. Thanks for stopping by, though. Mart, who would win in a 1v1 between you and Fish Marit? <laughs> I got it. Hooray. It's very easy to find Omega since it's right on top of, in a fashion, a giant landmark. I do remember that when I went to... Uh, mm, when I went to find the chunk of the body down there, and I wasn't it wasn't yet prepared, so I was just basically diving down to low elevations and looking for stuff and going back up again. It was specifically mentioned that there was one thing that was down and one thing that was up, so I'm assuming it's near that, but I still haven't found it. Yeah. What programming language is it for the box? I'm not sure. Like, there was a mention of... In the tutorial that I was looking at for how to get this thing here, it said something about... You can access the code and alter it there, but I don't actually remember what it was. Uh, wait a second. Maybe I can look at it in the custom docs. No, I can't. <laughs> no, I don't remember. It's I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out someday, I hope. I hope. Um, but at the moment, no. I, I know nothing. Okay, so we're here. We've unloaded a truck. We should probably get rid of one of these first aid kits because I don't need two on me because I ain't doing nothing too stupid. I got water, double water, got a thermos, which is the opposite of water for some reason. Oh, we're at the scanner. My sister's scanner. I could... Wait, can you? Probably, probably I can't. I was going to say I could set it on this uh, here shelf, but you can't. No. So I guess I'm going to recyclotron it because I don't need two, two scanners. I know it's like the last thing that my sister left behind, but I don't have a place to... I don't have a good way of maintaining this, plus, you know, it's a scanner. I've got her necklace to remember her by. I don't need her scanner as well. It'd be a little obsessive. So I'm recycling it. There we go. Man that has no pomp and circumstance whatsoever. You push a button and suddenly it's just a rock. <laughs> Hello, I am a rock. Congratulations on your obtainment of rock. Obtainment isn't a word, is it? Doesn't sound right. Also, yes, here's my garden. It's a mess. <laughs> I can barely navigate it at all. It's a real problem. Um, this is not the this is not the garden I needed to access though. Yeah, the Preston plant is almost impossible to climb over. You have to go over the marble melons. I'm glad that I I, I planted both of them here because yeah, the Preston's plant is basically impassable. Uh, okay. I need to go to the outer garden. Also, I need to charge stuff. Did I still leave the... I did! I left my um, good battery in the snow fox, didn't I? Which is actually kind of unnecessary overall. No, it's kind of not. If you get stuck away from the charging pad, that could be really useful. And... It doesn't need charging in any case because it's in the snow fox and nearly fully charged. So let's just charge the batteries I've got. Swap them out, you know. This and this. And is that it? That's kind of it, huh? Okay. So just the two then. And you get one. And you get a battery. And you get a battery. There we go. No, no I said, I said, I said, I said. There. Okay, now you go in here, and so do you. Good. It's actually a little bit excessive, all things considered, because I'm doing just fine on battery stuff. Okay. All right. All right, so, outer garden. So I needed four of these? I think it said I needed four of these, didn't it? I do, okay. So one, two, three, four, and then if we cut you, one, two, four, four, three, just three. So I need to cut th two of them into chunks. There we go. So now I should be able to plant right up to the capacity again. Very good. Very good. All right. And I need one of these. Good. That should all go together to make hydraulic fluid. Done. That looked transparent somehow. I guess it does have a see-through. It's got windows on the side where you can see the fluid inside. 
Sure, okay, that works. Um, anything else I need to take care of while I'm here? Or, if not need to, should. Cold suit! How about the cold suit? Oh, the fiber mesh goes into the cold suit. Oh, the fiber mesh goes into the cold suit. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. That's why you get all the fiber mesh. Um, okay. I still don't get the lubricant, but that's fine. I don't need to get it. It's fine. It doesn't have to mean anything. Uh, here. Wrong. Here. Yes. One, two, three, four. And then completed materials are over here. One, two, three, four. The quartz is kind of taking over, but that's fine. I should really consider converting a bunch of my quartz into glass, huh? Because, I mean, if I really need to make it back into quartz, I can just shove it into the Recyclotron. No problem. And it takes up half the room. Just not right now. Seems like one of those things to do is like a side project off, off, uh, off camera. Okay, so cold suit. Well, it takes a while, huh? It looks with tightly knit Kevlar microfiber and insulated with an alpine yoke around the neck and shoulders, the cold suit is designed to delay the onset of hypothermia. Delay. So it does not make me immune to the cold, it just makes things better. Okay. Cold suit gloves. Which is... Like, I don't, at this point, have that much difficulty with the cold is the thing about it. But, well, that's fine. It does mean that I have to be real careful if I put it on, right? Because, dress for the weather. Construct a cold suit. I've done it. I put it on as well. It's got a little brim over the eyes. You look like It looks like a jockey cap, kind of. In any case, I have to make sure that I remember to switch back before I do any swimming, because that rebreather is real important. Plus, this thing makes it so that I can't get eaten whole. <laughs> <laughs> Which I kind of appreciate about it. All right. All right. Anything else I should do while I'm here? Probably. Uh, oh, of course. I can leave my I can leave my swim swimming suit, my, my dive suit. I can leave my dive suit on the truck while I'm on the island because I'm not going to need it while I'm on the land sea. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. All right. <sighs> we'll catch up on chat. <laughs> okay, I do programming. If I had any clue what you were working with, I might be able to help. Completely different kind of programming, but maybe I'd get lucky and be helpful. Well, I appreciate it, but I, I am not prepared to answer the question. I'm sorry. My advice for you, Snow Fox, have two pads, one that stays on land for you to come back to and one to take with you. Obtainment is indeed a word, a noun to be exact. Well, there you go, because they're so simple. Simple? Oh, the, uh, the, the charging pads are, are simple, yes. The pad is just two titanium and a wiring kit. Yes, it's true. So you can just carry the mats in the Habitat Builder, put it down when you need it. Also, And also carry the tool around. Have to carry the tool around. That is true, but that's fine. That's what I did. I always carry a spare battery. Even a regular one will get you out of a pickle. One slot instead of four, for sure. The cold suit is nice. I keep mine in the seat truck. Or you could make an extra and store it on base, in case it isn't obvious. I'm a big fan of making extra stuff. I mean, that seems like a good thing to do as a general practice, for sure. Uh, let's see here. Quantum Locker. Storage solution which shares... Con oh, right, the, the friggin' minecraft thing <laughs> shares content with all their quantum lockers but takes ion cubes so friggin be careful uh, all right thinking thinking is there something else i need to build while i'm here prawn suit thermal reactor that shouldn't come up just yet i haven't gone anywhere deep enough for that to warrant it i mean i did go to that one volcanic zone near meta's place but i didn't spend much time there so yeah that's fine um just looking for other stuff that I should that I can build now that I'm back home, you know, since I have a lot of materials at this point. I haven't built a power cell charger yet, but I also kind of don't need one, do I? So far, I've been able to keep all my um, vehicles charged by just parking them in the appropriate uh, storage areas. Come to think on it, the prawn probably needs charging, doesn't it? I did wander around in it for a while there. Let's see here. Well, oh yeah, a little bit. Certainly doesn't hurt anything to go get it charged. And I don't think I need to bring it everywhere with me. It can be convenient to have it around, I suppose. But... Hmm. I don't know. 
perhaps I should get in the habit of carrying it everywhere just in case I see a resource that I want and can just take it. But I have not made that decision yet. I cannot climb over the frost faces. They just won't let me. So I have to go over the marble melons. I gotta build a better gar garden. I gotta, <laughs> my garden needs improvement for sure. There we go. The, the fevered peppers are just too good to resist. Like, the, the material reward for eating them is so good that it's there's no excuse not to. But it is a little bit sad to me because they look super gross <laughs> to my personal tastes. Not only a pepper, which I'm not the biggest fan of, at least not in their raw, whole form, uh, but a gigantic one. I, I just... Ugh, not, not my thing. <laughs> Being honest, honest with you, not my thing. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I do enjoy, uh, like, the byproducts of peppers, like, you know, spicy food. I like spicy food. I just don't want to take a pepper and put it in my face. And here's Robin putting peppers in her face all over the dang place, you know? You know? I don't, think I, could, I don't think there's anything I need to take care of here right now. Anything that I was going to build would be more decorative or auxiliary and that sort of thing I think should wait until my third base we don't want to get too settled in outside of the posters because otherwise moving from this place to another is going to be absolutely ludicrous so for right now why don't I just go back to Phi and open up that bridge and see what's on the other side I think that's the thing to do I think that's the thing to do uh oh uh oh inventory wow that's uh that's a tight fit you got there. Okay, is there anything I don't need to be bringing with me? I'm not bringing the laser cutter with me. Is that going to be okay? Maybe. Do I have a way of knowing? I don't. Drop a flare. Grab the laser cutter. <laughs> Mineral detector. Do you need it? Mm, probably not for this. Probably not. You do need the hydraulic fluid. The spy pangling, you could hang back, but given that it's on land... Well, here's the thing, though. It's not going to have any of those little devices marking spy pangling holes because nobody's ever been over there because the bridge has been out. That's not true. Presumably at some point it was working. But Sam probably hasn't been over there, maybe. I guess I don't know when the hydraulic fluid busted, you know? Maybe she has been over there. Just bring it. Just bring it, it's fine. You can stash a bunch of this stuff in the truck and they'll be fine. Okay. Like so. Doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit with these things in here. But I have a storage lock, a storage car. I have a storage car. I can just throw them in here. That'll be fine. Also, if you're not bringing the prawn with, then you should take this thing off. But perhaps I should check chat and make sure nobody's being like, no, 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 bring the prong with you. So let's see here. Do, 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 do. The quantum locker is another way to keep your stuff in a place you can get to. I think you're overthinking over using the ion cubes, to be honest. Never. Never. Arriving late because work. Has Sharky built a control room yet? <laughs> I haven't, actually. You can't go bonkers, but there are quite a few of them. It's because the cubes are finite in this game, but yeah, spending some permanent stuff is absolutely fine. Control room? Yes. Sharky control room. You'll love it. Okay, okay. Okay. Truck storage module? I actually already have one. That This is a truck storage module. I could build another one, but it seems a little unnecessary just yet. I might do another one when I'm planning on moving, you know? So, can, so uh, uh, let me look up this pattern for that control room. There it is, control room. Four titanium advanced wiring kit and glass. Well, that's straightforward enough. All right, let me catch up on chat further, though. Especially since he has the recycler. You can always get your ion cubes back out of the batteries. That's a very good point. Delicious pips. The reason to be careful with ion cubes, Jenny, is if you decide to use the redacted module, which is very situational, but does eat ion cubes like Tic Tacs. Huh. Well, I used it all uh, all of once and decided it was far more buck than bang. Haven't even used it or made redacted again. Yeah, me either. My first time down with redacted, I had it as an emergency backup, but didn't end up needing it. Does anyone remember if you even need spy pangling over the bridge? I guess I don't know what situation would require it. Okay, I don't feel like you do, but I'm still bringing it. You don't need, but there are things there, I believe. I'm popping in and out as there's another stream going on and saw Felix's question. Me versus fish me. Hmm, probably worth it. I meant to say I'd win, but to be honest, I'll probably get chomped mighty fast. I mean, they 
as long as you survive the initial onslaught, I think you'll be fine. I don't think it would kill you, but I also don't know how you're going to kill it. <laughs> Unless you're, you know, armed. And if you're armed, then sure, I could see you taking I could take see you taking on a brute shark. They're not that clever, honestly. Or I'd go hide until I found an imp improvised weapon and so I could win. There you go. Shark Mart is afraid of knife. Stabby stabby. There you go. Okay. Okay. Control room. Four titanium, advanced wiring kit glass. Wait, advanced wiring kit. Doesn't that require a computer chip and doesn't that require that requires me to go get some thingies. Uh, that requires me to go get some sh uh, d d d table table coral. So why don't I make use of this? I'm not using my power plant nearly at all, so table coral, yeah. You scan for table coral, and I'll go get it. I haven't made any range increases, so I suspect I won't need it just yet, but yeah, look at that. Look at that! I could just go and find it myself, but why would I when I could just tell my friggin' house to do it for me? Haha! -ha. Efficient hunting. And one more over there. Perfect. I also don't have any speed upgrades in the thing, as you may have noticed. It took it that long to notice these two that are right next to it. But, again, that's fine. I'm not doing that much material hunting at the moment near my base in the first place. So I suspect it'll be just fine. Okay, so we got the table coral. Now I should shut off the scanner room so I stop wasting power. Again, not that it's really a problem. I'm still at max power at the moment. And haven't even put a shrub nut in there in a while, so... We're doing good on that front. Now then, I need... Inventory space is what I need. Inventory space is what I need. There we go. Plus, I don't want to accidentally, you know, assume that that wiring kit is for the, um... Oh, hey! I just have an advanced wiring kit. <laughs> Listen, it's fine. It's fine. Having some spare table coral samples is not a bad thing. I will I will absolutely take that. So I have the advanced wiring kit. I don't need to make another one, so cuz now that I now that I think on it, I did get one while I was out in Phi and brought it back with me and stored it right here. Uh so four titanium and glass and that. So four titanium and glass. And there we go. And then I have to figure out where to install it. We'll get to that. Glass. Okay, so. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it's a sphere. Did you sort of pop on there somewhere, huh? Alright. Alright, well, where do we want to put this sphere? Put it up top of here, that would be silly. And inconvenient, but I could do it. Maybe. I wonder if I can, actually. Eh. That looks like a yes. <laughs> that looks like a yes. Let's see if it is a yes. It looks like its head's popping up above the level of the water. My house's head, that is. In the control room, you can change base lighting and colors. Rename your base and see information about power and structural integrity. Okay. But not the integrity of societal power structures. What? Where is this coming from, PDA? <laughs> what societal power structures? I'm on this planet with nobody else. <laughs> I think we have bigger things to be concerned about, PDA. Okay, yeah, there's no way for me to get up there because I put this here. <sighs> I see. <laughs> I see. Well, that is a problem. What are you doing? Hey! 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 What are you? What are you? Hey! Are you good? Are you good? Can I help you? Are you one of the ones from inside my containment unit? How did you even get there? Welcome aboard, Captain. One, two, two, three. No, all three of them are in there. This is just a, a peeper that jumped onto my 
house and was like, hey, I'm a bit stuck. Can you help me out? So I will help you out rather than... Did I just... I just, I just put away what is in my hands. It's fine. All right, all right. You are free to go, little one. Drop. Off you go. Okay, so now I need to, I need to deconstruct that and put it somewhere else because I can't actually access it. How did I do this a second ago? Here. I overshot. Listen, just do it from here. It's fine. Just deconstruct for yeah, there. No, friggin' this. Okay, okay, good. Now, I do have this thing right here. I've got this X structure right here. I could probably just install it here, huh? But didn't I put a poster right here? I feel like maybe yes. Let's see if it lets me do it. Control room. Am I not gonna be allowed to do it because of the, um... Because of the moon pool? That would seem to be the case. Alright. Well, I did bring some extra titanium for the ladder that I didn't wind up needing, so let's try doing this and see if it lets me put it here. It will. Good! There we go. Okay. Let's go check it out. Not this way. <laughs> this way. Oh, hey, look at that. It's like a it's like a curtain now. It's like one of them bead curtains you put between rooms or something, I guess. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. All right. Wow, look at that. It's got a map of it and everything. Disable section. Oh, in case you want to save power. Shouldn't be a problem for me right now, though, huh? Oh, but you can disable them so they don't they can don't continue to uh, detract from your structural integrity. That's interesting. Like if I were to, for example, do this. Uh, no, it's it just it's just the power. It's not the structural integrity. The structural integrity stays down, and that's fine. Base name. Burger Town. Okay. Customize appearance, but I cannot see my own self. I cannot see what I look like from outside. What is this? Navigate mini map. Nav oh, oh, okay. Sure. Space and C. Space? Oh, okay. C? Got it. So now I can see the moon pool. I getcha. I gotcha. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Burger Town. Uh, power status is doing fine. Plus 15, minus 15, point 15, of course. Hey, look, time! Time of day! It's so weird. Why is there a mountain here? It's weird having a clock. <laughs> I've never had a clock before. What is this? There's a stairwell up to it. What is... Is this a door? Can I open it? I have to put a hatch here? I don't understand. Plus, how am I supposed to color my base when I can't even see my base? I don't know. I don't know. Uh. Well. Let's see here. Burgerish, a little bit burgerish. Where does the name go on this thing, anyway? Let me have a look at what this looks like. Probably weird. It's gonna be dark. It's nighttime. How am I supposed to be able to tell? Ah! I don't know if I want it all to be that color. I was going for burger buns, but like that's—I don't know about that. I don't—I don't actually know about that. Uh. I mean, admittedly, it just looks bad in the night light, but... Mm. I'm going to make a bed. Just a temporary bed, you understand. Just something I can sleep on until it's not nighttime anymore. Um, That requires what? 
titanium and fiber mesh. Fiber mesh? I just used all my fiber mesh. Fine. I'll make more. I'll make more. There we go. Okay. Okay, and then we make that into fiber mesh. Good, okay. Fiber mesh and titanium. Titanium's up here. Go get it. Okay, so back down. Just drop a bed. Drop a bed. Drop a dang old bed. Right right here. Sleep. We don't use the covers, we don't turn out the lights, but we do sleep. Great. Eight hours have passed. Sleeping in a wetsuit. It's great for what ails you. Okay. Now. Let's go look at this awful, awful color. Uh, where are the stripes anyway? There's blue here, but the stripes that it said were, were red and green. But there are no stripes that I'm seeing here. So what's the deal with the stripes function then? What does that even mean? What does it mean? Also, why are they so obsessed well, with the having the dark blue captain. highlights on absolutely everything and you can't change it? I mean, it's fine. I like dark blue, but what the heck? Yeah, I think the stripes don't exist. I think the stripes ain't real. Maybe there are certain parts of a base that have stripes. Maybe like the big room has stripes. I don't know. There's been a lot of chat. I'm terribly sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Look at all this stuff getting retracted. Hadn't thought of that, but it's a good point. It's so cold. He has suit. We should not continue this conversation. Nope. In fact, even probably that is a spoiler. Want to delete important bits before he sees? Deleting. I can't wait till he gets there so I can make the references bopping through my head. It's going to be great. PDA has some thoughts about capitalism. So many thoughts. PDA is a product of capitalism. PDA is, PDA is biased. We should not listen to PDA. Control room is basically the same shape as a scanner room. It's true. I think that peeper is dead, to be honest. Was it? Did I just put a dead peeper into the ocean outside? If I did, it's probably still there. I don't see it. Maybe it was alive. I'm just gonna pretend it was alive. And we're fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Peeper, adopt me. <laughs> I'm seeing your comments vanish. Yay, I got rid of three, but I thought there were more. Control room. Jenny's now known as Houdini. Shrug. Oh, magical levitating poster. The panel with stairs is another potential door or window. I believe the customization area changes base color. Yeah, it's where you can build a tunnel or whatever. It's mostly just there, so you know you can, I think. It does. Or perhaps it's there to completely confuzzle Charzy. Char Charzy. Charzy. That's me, Charzy. <laughs> Burger base. Uh-oh, poop base. The colors for the bases are so whacked. I like. I quite like mine. Very dark blue with bright accents. Bioluminescent base. I like mine as well, but it's very different from what it shows on the control panel. I wonder if those beds are comfortable. Yeah, the stripe border is layered over orange, so you can only do so much. I love Parvin's bed. Try changing the stripe color to something else. You can steal the beacon for Burger Town. Now control room has its own bacon. It's true. It does. I thought about that. Okay. So... Oh. As soon as I switched to it, it immediately eliminated itself. I also am having second thoughts about actually making my base look like a burger. <laughs> it kind of looks awful. Um, but I don't know what color I do want to make it. What if we do make it like a dark... Like, lean into the dark blue thing, right? And then make some lighter stripes, right? Make some lighter stripes. Uh, white and say, uh, what else is a good color for this? Hmm. Do 
Maybe like in there for yellow-ish. Put the name in white as well. Let's give that a shot, see what it looks like. Perhaps it would be a good idea to put a hatch over there in that strange wall. Hmm. Are all these yellow bits, were they already going to be yellow, or is this the yellow I chose? It seems brighter than the one I chose, but I mean, that's not terrible. It doesn't look bad, to be honest with you. It does kind of look like a fixture in, like, a children's play area in a restaurant <laughs> or something. But it doesn't look bad, necessarily. Hmm. I could get behind that. It's not particularly burgery, but as, as we just tested, making your base look like a burger kind of is awful. <laughs> All right. How, what does it take to make a hatch? Hatches, quartz, and titanium. That's no problem at all. Make it a lot easier to do some color testing if I just have a hatch right there. So let's get a hatch right there. Uh, one of those. One of these. This is really inconvenient. I hope y'all are happy in there. I mean, it's not your fault, I guess. You didn't ask to be hatched in my house. Uh, blah, this way. Can I make the hatch from inside? I want to. Yeah! Nice! Okay. So now, if for example, I... Wait a second. Is that stripe down there also representative of what I did? No, it's a different yellow for sure. For sure, for sure. Let's see here. Let's just... Yeah, it does nothing on the inside. It does nothing at all on the inside. Let's just make it something real obvious. That's actually pretty obvious. That ready or orangey red. Oh, hey. Yeah, it does. It does. In fact, impact all of the um, joists and hatches and whatnot. So where's the other color come in, then? Is it this? Hmm. Let's see. Stripe one. Try black. See what it looks like. It's not that. Is it this? I don't know. I don't know. Go back to white. See if I can tell the difference. It's not this. What is it then? <laughs> is it this? Is it that? No. <laughs> That's the interior. We're dealing with the exterior. I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. Where's the, where's the name? Is it on top, on the control room? It is. It is. Okay. Okay. All right. First off, all caps. Second off, I'm putting this back to yellow. Like there. It doesn't look like a burger. And I'm okay with that. All right. I am content with this development. Thank you for reminding me to make a control room. That's pretty neat. I need some peppers. This is not where there are peppers. This is also not where there are peppers. There we go. <laughs> Jump over the watermelons. You can do no else. Peppers. Give, give me the... There we go. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Okay, all right. Let's see here. Paper is alive. Um, living on a farm for sure. <laughs> Hearts engine green time. Ooh, dory colors. If you put everything to white, you can see the colors that won't change. Then shift one at a time. That's a good point. It's an underwater McDonald's play place. Basically, yes. Where bur burgers are found, we've wrapped around. I'd rather be blue over you. Funny girl reference. Streisand. I haven't actually... Wait, oh, the, the song by Streisand. I just don't know it particularly well. Right on. Stripe is hatches in the tops of some buildings. Okay. Stripe one. Make the white stripe green. You can tell where it is. A very particular kind of green. I've never made a control room, and now I want to just so I can make my base pretty colors. It's, it is pretty great, I must say. It is pretty great. Um, 
Sure, I'll take your advice. What you were what you were recommending is that I do what what you're recommending is that I do uh that I do this. <laughs> Aren't you? Alright, let me have a look. Oh look at that! Oh, it's way more significant than I thought. Oh. How did I not notice that when I switched it to white? I'm not paying enough attention. And it it is the inside of the tube over here. Huh. Huh. Well, what do I want to do with that? Interestingly, this is this is this thing right here is why this place is called Burger Town. Oh, and I was going to say you can't actually make it burger like because it doesn't have buns, but it does, doesn't it? But if you wanted to make it really burger like, you'd have to make the main color of your base like a meaty brown, and that's probably going to be just gross. <laughs> so so maybe don't it's also interesting how that bright neon green turns kind of a forest green underwater, doesn't it? Yeah, even so, it's very subdued. It's not terrible. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I like the yellow accents. I don't know about the green. I don't know about the green. But I don't know what else I would make it if I wasn't going to make it green, is the thing. I mean, we could go back to black or white, but that almost seems kind of boring, doesn't it? What happens if you do go with, like, a red? I think I already did this. And I didn't like it, but let's have a look anyway. What? It's like a dark purple. What? Wait, is it combining with the base color of the base? Like, is that red combining with this blue to make this purple color? Is that what's going on? I'm so confused. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> That's because you always made it dark? Meaty brown. Meaty brown sounds horrid, like poop town. It's one of those layered colors, so you need to tweak it around to find a color you like. Purple and black? It's going over dark blue. I see. It is, in fact, combining the colors. So if you wanted a bright color, you have to make it the base color, and then you have to combine with the base color to make the more subdued color. Otherwise, you get subdued colors because it's combining. Interesting. Interesting. So now that I know exactly where it... What, what did just happen? Don't do that. Now that I know what gets affected, what happens if I do make it white? I want to look at it again and see if I can figure it out. Because maybe, maybe making it white just means that it doesn't change it at all. It is slightly lighter. Ah, shoot. You know, I actually like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a little boring and basic, I guess, but I kind of like that. Though... But now it looks like Mega Man. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a Mega Man base named Burger Town. It's fine. Wait. I don't know about Burger Man. Maybe Burger Man? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it basically overpaints, and red also also gets also always gets filtered underwater. It's not the color you set, dark blue. So it'll never be very obvious. It, I'm, it's going over the standard dark, almost black of these parts. Finding Dory bases to go. We are living inside a giant man. <laughs> We all live in a yellow submer man. Um, okay, you know what? I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I allow it. It's fine. It doesn't really count as a town when it's only me that lives here, I guess. Although I do have some residents now. I've got the fiches. They're not exactly willing residents. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> they kind of don't have a choice in the matter. All right, this is my bed. Got it.
Can I? Can I? You can. <laughs> you can sleep in the control room, eh? You just have to position it perfectly. Well, fine. There. I live here now. Okay, great. What was I going to do? <laughs> right. Hydraulic fluid. We got to go back to Phi. We got to go back to Phi. But before that, actually, there's one other thing I need to do. Do you know the Burger Man? The Burger Man? The Burger Man? Do you know the Burger Man who lives on Burger Lane? <laughs> no, you have residents. Us! Fair point. We're our own messed up vent garden. We are the resident prondians. Are we Are we evil resident, residents? No, we are very polite. Or merely massively distracting. Back to the bridge. We are. We are. You are. It's true. Yeah. Um. Anyway, what I need to do... What time is it? Control room, what time is it? Middle of the dang night! Not enough space to lie down on bed. What? 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 Betrayal! Alright. Alright. Let's go here then. <laughs> You're so picky! Robin, why are you so picky about this? Fine. Fine. We'll put it here. And just collect it again afterwards. It's fine. There. I don't understand yet. I do appreciate the part where I don't gain any hunger or thirst by sleeping for eight hours. That would be amazing if we're true. Anyway. So now it should be like five in the morning, right? Six in the morning. Time passes quickly. I forget these things. Okay, so now it should be nice and scenic outside. Wow, that blends directly into the ocean. Wow, hey, that that blends directly into the ocean. <laughs> if there were large ocean-dwelling creatures that came through this area, they would absolutely smash into my base because they would not know it is here. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> Listen, it's fine. Listen, it's fine. Now then, where's F11? Alright, bubbles. Wait for wait for no bubbles. Wait for no bubbles, no hands. There we go. Maybe a little bit further to the right. Try and get some of that tube in the shot. Get that tube in the shot. Bam. There. Beautiful. Alright! Well, I'll update the thumbnail next time. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay! Let's do some more battery swapping, and then let's be on our way. I tell you what. Okay. One, two. Just two? Probably just two. I don't think I use anything besides these two. There's that. There's that. In you go. We grab this and this and this and that. And we get... Oh, right, 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 right. I gotta get this thing off. I gotta remove this thing if we're not taking the prawn, and I don't think I am gonna take the prawn. Wait, if I'm not gonna take the prawn, why would I take the storage module? Because you might find stuff there, dummy. Okay. Is there a point? If you're taking the storage module, should you just take the... Just take the prawn. Just, just, just take the prawn with. What does it hurt to take the prawn with? You might be a little slower. Oh no, I'm in such a hurry. I must get to there as fast as possible. This is why I spent half an hour customizing my base. Okay. Where is it? There it is, okay. Let's go up on top. And there we go. Great. Now then. Thirsty. <laughs> Why does preparing for a journey take so many steps, huh? Why are there so many things to micromanage, huh? 
I wish I had a way to install a refrigerator on my ship so I could take some of this dogweed and use it. I'm still going to take some dogweed, but it's probably not going to get used because... Because it's going to go bad before I get to a relevant dog. Plus, I'm not going dog zone. If there happens to be a dog across the bridge, I will give him so many drugs. <laughs> he won't even know what ate him. Okay. I forgot to pick up the Burger Town beacon. It's no longer ac accurate. It's all right. I'll deal with it later. To the landing pad. Which means I just got to hold W for a little while. So let's see how you're doing. We're just confusing residents. Don't look a gift man in the stomach. So shiny. Inviso based. Nah, it's fine. It's camouflaged. Cloaked for your entertainment. A Chelly will never see it. From the top down, Burger Base has become a cross. You're right, it kind of has, hasn't it? Give the dogs drugs. I'm gone if I see them. If I see a single dog, I'm going to give them drugs. I'm a good influence. I dodged a fish. I successfully dodged a fish. I'm a hero. I also remembered about the drop elevation button. Also, that sounded like... No, that, what that is, that's the... um, That's those fellers eating. And that's just fine. Just... Wow, there's a bunch of stuff trying to dodge right in front of my ship. <laughs> this area is filled with friendly creatures that I don't want to hit with a giant truck. And they all are like, Hey, check it out, a truck! I don't think I hit any of them, so, so far so good. Okay, so that's the back door. How do I get to the f landing pad? This way. I have to go around this way, I think. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Because, yeah, you go to that area. Yes. Yes, I feel like this is correct. I feel like it's correct. I don't know that it's correct, but I think it is. Sorry. might not be. It might be that I'm supposed to go around it the other direction, huh? This is starting to feel wrong. Sorry. But I remember going along this channel, see? And I thought that the channel was further in this way. Yeah, 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 no, this feels right. This feels right. I think this is good. And I sort of remember this, being all cramped. But then I can make it through anyway if I push. Yeah, like that. And then at the end here... Right, because I'm not going to the landing pad. The landing pad is where I had my charging dock all that time. It's a totally different thing. It's entirely different. Okay. Okay, so I need to... I need to... Uh, that. And uh, that. I need to... Carefully switch that and that, and this and that. Okay, and then we put this on. Inventory juggling, you see. Why are my gloves the same size as my suit? Hey, hey, how come my gloves are the same size as my suit, though? That seems weird. Cold suit gloves are on. Okay. And then we just gotta... Yeah, we're good. We're good. Leave the materials for your bed here. You're not gonna need it. You shouldn't have taken it with you in the first place. But that's fine. Hope it's okay if my cold suit gets wet. Wait. Where's the... There! Okay. So that's where I'm going. That does last a good while longer. The, uh, the temperature of my body, that is. I've only dropped three degrees so far. That's pretty good. But there are specifically no dogs here. There are specifically no dogs to drug. Which is a shame. You know, if you're able to build a refrigerator, then theoretically, if I was to drop this on the ground, it should be fine. If I were to come back and get it later, it should be fine. But I bet you it won't be. I wonder if I can test this. Let's just leave my drugs here. Uh-huh. 
And if they're still here when I come back, we'll check and see if they've decomposed in the frigid winter air. It's not winter, but you know. They shouldn't, but they're gonna, I bet you. Why am I just walking instead of using my, um, snow fox? I don't know. Felt like it. Okay. Right here. Insert hydraulic fluid to make operational. Bam! Necessary repairs. Repair the bridge. I've done it. Attention. Right. Okay. Extend bridge. Wow, that ice just broke right off of there. That's convenient. And here we are. And there is already an Altera towery thing over here, so clearly they did come over here. I guess that makes sense, otherwise they wouldn't have built a bridge. Don't know what I was thinking. Flare. I don't need a flare. I already got a flare. Wait. I'm sensing interesting patterns to the northeast. Northeast. It would be worth investigating. But be careful. Does that mean As dogs? Well, I recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice. What? You got sandworms? Why do you have sandworms in your snow ice thing? Ice worms. Why you got snow worms? What is this? How am I supposed to scan a subterranean creature also? Alright, back to the bridge. Let's build our chargy pad by the bridge and get on that snow fox. That's probably the best uh, defense I got against tunnely things is go fast. Bunch of survival gear. How thoughtful of you. That was a sound. Let's put it right next to this geyser. Let's see. I can see there's a lot of chat happening, and I'll be with you in just a moment. Let's see. We want... This, this angle's fine. Can't build it too close to the bridge, I guess, huh? Okay. I'll put it right there. Okay. And you did bring it with you, right? You did. Good. Okay. Let's just park it on the thing. And hang out on this geyser. And catch up on apparently a lot of chat. Hang on. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. If I remember, the sea truck can stack eight or twenty-four units. I think, not sure. Sea truck conga line. Love how he's missed the various obvious, very obvious docky every time he came here. What very obvious dock? Very obvious man-made dock. What? You can put so many modules on the sea truck. He did. Sea limo. Just completely avoid it. Whatever, it's fine. Back and forth, to and fro, looking straight ahead only. Listen, I'm here, right? Sharky, this is an incredibly inconvenient place to park your cart. Says you, it was fine. It is. Go left. No. Oh, here we go. Robin's got the whole world in her hands. The gloves have to enabled such a power move. Does uh, the heat knife help with warmth? I don't know. Go left and see. Drug stash. Stashes my drugs in a pile on the ground. He didn't go left. Did you mean for the architect cache? You already found that little cave. Here we go. No, for the dock. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Wait a second. I think I've been to the dock. I just don't think I knew it was a dock. I've been, like, there was a platform over there. I remember the platform. Hmm. Hmm. Lads, I'm so excited. Do flares also help with warmth? They do not. Me too, me too, me too. Wait, yes, they do. 10%. They give you 10% cold reduction thing. I'm so hyped for this. The spice must flow. The ice must flow. <laughs> the ice must flow. Go fast. Oh, go so fast. Oh, what is the name of the Snow Fox vehicle? Uh, it's, oh, it's, um. It's Kiwi Gas. Because that's what uh, Thomas Kitten named it. K Thomas Kitten didn't realize that uh, it was naming the vehicle, but uh, <laughs> here we are. It's Kiwi Gas. Snow, snow alert awaits you. It's called Kiwi Gas. Thomas Cat named it, yes. Snow Fox. What did you name the Snow Fox? Ah, the name name. Gotcha. Outfox them. Ratcha cha cha tech. Keep an eye out for that noise. Yeah, that seems important, doesn't it? 
Anyway, yes, I, I do in fact recall seeing an Altera build. Dangerous weather approaching. Thing over Seek there. Shelter. Right there. I just don't I don't think I ever made the connection it was a dock. Good to know. Cool, thanks. I like my little alcove though. It's homey. Okay. Well. He says go northwest, which means I should probably go not northwest first. Based on what I know about exploration in this sort of game, that's my instinct. Are these limestone? These are limestone, right? Not Galena? Yeah, it's limestone. You never know, you know. Well, there's an Altera light over there. So what's this way? Also, is that Galena? No. <laughs> I'm so desperate, and yet I find nothing. Way. Seems like it's not really built for Snow Fox. I don't like the noises I'm hearing. I also don't like the part where night is falling. Logs and communications. Thumper batteries, exclaim. Omar on behalf, mining crew Delta. To a quartermaster, Joe. I am speaking on behalf of the entire mining crew. Day in and day out, we are risking our lives in this cursed territory. When we signed up for this mission, we were not told about these ice worms. We lost a solid fifth of the crew before Altera took any action. Six of our friends were emergency shuttled off the planet. Marcus was supposed to retire after this job. Instead, he was skewered by an ice worm. Have you ever seen any someone get skewered by an ice worm? Not yet. These thumpers that the company developed are just a stopgap solution. They do a great job of distracting the ice worms when they have power. How are we supposed to use them when the batteries burn out so quickly? Would it be possible to send us additional replacement batteries? A little more juice would go a long way. Respectfully, Omar and the Delta crew. Hmm. Thumpers. Thumpers. I should probably figure out what a thumper is real quick. Huh. In here. I know what's coming up. It's so happy to know you're here, right? How does a cat name a vehicle? Um, you let it walk on a keyboard. <laughs> I misread that, and for a second I thought it said ranch. He isn't using a controller, is he? Nope. Keyboard and mouse. Snow Halud just really wants salad dressing. Time for dip. Man, he just didn't get the whole rumble feedback. That is true, I don't. It has a certain level level of terror to areas like this. I do imagine that's true. Rumble feedback is overrated. It makes my hands hurt. Tama gave their cat their phone to say hi, and the cat mashed its face on the phone. It came up with kiwi gas. It's true. I can see that. Thump, 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 thump. The thump is the sound of your heart pounding. Yes, I noticed that part. First aid kit. Why are they giving me so many first aid kits, do you think? Can't imagine. Can't imagine. There's a PD over there. Nutrient block. This is sure something. Oh, hi! Found it. I can't tell if I'm safe up here or not. Okay, well... Uh... So what's a thumper? <laughs> Certainly that's not a thumper. Is the tower looking thing that I have seen before, is that a thumper? But they had that on the they had that in the purple retreat territory, and there are no worms over there, as far as I know. So probably not. I want that. Hello. But if I go down there. Well, there's titanium down there, but also it's a dead end. Emphasis on the dead. There's a ladder. How do we... 
how do we, okay, thumper, thumper, right, thumper, um, skewered by an ice worm, thumper, where would I be if I was a thumper, that's where the worm is, I know that, I know that, I know that, there's, it seems to pass seamlessly, I don't see an indication of where it is when it's not on the surface, I've gone off the edge, Okay, 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 okay. The other thing I have to bear in mind here is that the, fro the snow fox has, like, no hit points at all. So if I get caught by the thing, it's probably going to take me out vehicle and all. And I'm not wearing my reinforced suit anymore, so I don't take reduced damage anymore. I must remember that. Okay, I want the PDA, though, so... Here we are. That's not a good sound. Why can't, why, oh, okay, okay. I fell off. <laughs> I fell off. Get it. Tunnels. Jesse Shen. From Jesse Shen to Federico Turner. I love and hate exploring these tunnels. They're marble, they're marbles. They're marvels to the power of the ice worms. The sheer amount of ice they are able to cut through in moments takes us a couple days. Their tunneling mechanism is ruthlessly efficient. Altera could only dream of having this sort of mining capability. The ice worms under uncover mineral-rich pockets as they tunnel, but going up beneath the surface is so risky. We've lost so many already. I don't understand why we have to stay in this particular area of the glacier. I can't wait to get off this hellhole. Ice hole? Whatever. Hope you're enjoying the relative calm at Kappa. Where's Kappa again? Mining site. Here. It is relatively calm in Kappa. There's just a bunch of prawns. Don't stand in front of them. You'll be fine. Hmm. Okay. Catch up on chat before we deal with whatever this situation is. I probably have to watch the previous episodes. Probably. Wow, I had no idea he could show up here. That's terrifying. A thumper is a deployable item. Oh, boy. So I have to find the remains of one and build one before I can get one. That's great. That's great. Oh, he can show up anywhere over here except for, for out by the bridge. Trust me. Dies, 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 dies. I've only ever had him show up in the open areas. Guess I got lucky. Sharky's missing a data item on that metal platform. He did, but he's worried. Justifiably so. Okay, I'll go back to the platform. Thank you. There are two more. I repeat, two more Mother Thumpers. Paraphrasing a Tremors, Tremors quote that seemed appropriate. I actually haven't seen the Tremors series, which is a shame. I hear they're a, like really a good time. That's where the worm is. Oh, Sharky, I'm so sorry. The worm is wherever you are. Aha! Them graboids, indeed. Great. Great. So. So there's no escaping the worm. That's, that's good, I guess. That's great. All right. Well. So I'm missing something up here, huh? Ah, here we go. Thumper! Thump things! Look at that. It's a thump. New blueprint synthesized. Thumper. The thumper is a simple device that sends high-impact sonic impulses down through a tetrapod base, potentially disturbing would-be underground attackers in a small area. A weighted disc extends from the top of the device and is propelled to the surface in an isochronal cadence. The thumper. A headache is a small price to pay. Okay, so what does it take to build one? Deployables, I assume. Where do they keep the deployables? I'm actually just looking at the headings. And they don't call them deployables in this menu, do they? Okay. Look for a new blueprint indicator then. A little plus. There should be a little plus. There's not a little plus. Perhaps because I already scanned past it. Great. Okay. Uh, exterior modules. No. Uh, scanner. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Machines. No. Although it probably is one. There it is. Found it. Battery titanium magnetite. I didn't bring any magnetite. I didn't bring any magnetite. I have to go home again? Man. Hi. No, it's just wind. You don't have magnetite in you, do you? Of course not. Okay. I think I have to go home. 
because I don't think I'm going to find any magnetite just lying around in a place like this. And that's obnoxious, but I don't know that I have it. Oh, well, and I didn't bring my mineral finder either, so I can't be like, is there some around here randomly? I, I can't, because I didn't bring the thing. Bleh. The poor snow fox takes far more damage if you're on it than, than you do. Not that you have much time to run away from the wreckage. If the ground is a rock and the worm comes a knocking, knock, knock, who's there? Teeth! Snort. Time Sharky has scrolled past the thumper. Two. Just go running. What's the worst that could happen? To be honest, I didn't know Thumper. I didn't use Thumper for my first exploration. Rumble also lets you know if it's random noises or danger noises when it comes to this guy. That makes sense. Walking does work fairly well. Thumpers are just a suggestion. Walking? Like, don't use the snow fox? Really? I'm gonna use the snow fox, all right? I'll trust you that I don't need to have the thumper and we can just sort of deal without it, but if it goes really poorly, I might just, um... I might just excuse myself and go make a thumper. This is where I came from, I'm pretty sure. How did I get up this high, though? Down there is where I came from. How did I get up this high, though? That's a noise. Why is there this glowing red light over there? What's your deal, red light? Is there something actually inside there producing that red light? Oh, that's the sunrise. <laughs> that's just the sunrise, I see. Okay. I'm supposed to be going northwest, so I'm doing well on that front. What's this? Whoa! That's not what I meant to do at all. Ha! <laughs> I just hopped off my machine. Whoa, okay, we're going... Wait, th this is probably the tunnel that the worm came from. This is probably the tunnel where the worm came from, huh? Okay, where's the worm? Hello, friend, where are you? Is that a sign of where you were? You definitely made a noise at me. Can I drink while I'm on the machine? Consume. Cool. That's a crystal. Quartz, quartz, it's not magnetite. More worm tunnels, I assume. Interesting that the peppers grow in here. That's good to know, actually. Go, go. Ooh. Okay, let's just keep moving for now. I hear you. I see you not. I assume you're close. You're making a lot of roary screamy noises, but it sounded like you were up that ledge over there with the ladder. Which is a weird place for a worm to be. But I guess if you're going underground, you can be wherever you want. At least there's some no warning noise before presumably bad things happen. I, ha I still haven't really gotten a clear look at it, though, yet. I don't know how I'm going to scan it. Dogs! Dogs, are you kidding me? What, the, the worm just gets along with the dogs? Why? Why? Why does not the worm eat the dogs? Why worm no eat dogs? Not that I want the worm to eat the dogs, but, like, this seems like a lot to have to deal with, doesn't it? What's that? Lithium? I mean, sure, thanks, but... Give it. Give it. There's a worm. Give it. Give it! Hey! Oh, hello. Yeah, okay, hi. Thank you for the warning. Um, I guess I got enough lithium. 
I'll go in here. Whoa, 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 hey? Ion cubes and a lot of them, but you need to bring the prawn. The prawn? The prawn is not fast, though. The prawn is not fast, though. I mean, you can grapple along and go at decent speed, I guess, but... That's awkward. What is that? Hi! Why you're real big? Why you're real, real big, you know that? I didn't mean to drop that. I meant to use it. Where did I go? Where'd it go? Hey, where'd it go? Wow, that took off half his health in one hit. Uh, and mine too, by the way. Dog! Dog! Again. Oh, it's there now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I need to get someplace to fix my snow fox. Um, um, not that. Uh, this. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Real quick. Okay. Go. Stuck. Stuck against the wall. Okay, 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 okay. So, so, this is possibly where it sounded like the worm was once before, but this is too, I feel like this is too small for worm. That might be wishful thinking. Makeshift flashlight. Alien tech, isn't it? Alien zone? It's a teleporter, and it's got one of the places where you install a cube. Yeah, it sure does. Which I could do if I could get... If I could get my brawn to those cubes. See. What is this? An elevator! An alien elevator! Okay, that's been a while. Battery. First aid kit. That's nice. For the purification tablet. Sure, why not? Not that I need the water. I got peppers. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Hang on. I'm gonna catch up on chat real quick. Let's see. Thumb was just a suggestion. I like. Don't use the snow fox and toggle to walk instead of toggle. What do you mean toggle? I don't know about walking. If Wormley does show up, then you're in a lot of trouble. But you have to go so slowly. Now, once he shows up, you're toast. It's mostly to prevent him from showing up in the first place. Sunrise. Sharky got spooked by the sunrise. It's true. We've terrorized him, poor guy. Hopped off the snow fox. Wormley knocked you off it, did he? Indeed. The peppers look, kind of look like daggers. Dogs are food. <laughs> Need the propulsion gun. Worm hunt, hunts dogs. Yummy, yummy. Pointy worm horn. He wants to boop your snoot with his snoot. See? Ion cubes. Cube. Prawn has brawn. Booped. Worm boops you. Vary your walking pattern if you must explore on foot. Fast, slow, stand still, but no jumping. Worm can hear you. Hello, I'm back. Hello. Hello. Okay, well, I don't know how to... Oh, you mean like walk, run. You don't mean like... Because I always assume this is sort of run and this is sprint, but maybe you mean this by walking. Gotcha. Okay. Because if there is a way to toggle straight down to actually walking, I don't know how to do it. That sure is convenient. Hey, thank you, alien tech. Jukebox disc. Jukebox disc. I can never say that phrase. 
JT Music, take the dive. I've got it. First aid kit, sure. Battery, sure. Okay. Nutrient block. But there are peppers everywhere. Wait. Is this a dead end? Why is there an alien elevator to take me here? Oh. <laughs> because it's not a dead end. Okay, sure. That makes sense. That makes sense. What's this? Water purification. I'm gonna leave that there for now. Okay. Dock. see here. Oh, it just goes way down. Nice. So why do you suppose it is that down here I can use I can use the function of the map of this thing to show, show me what the passage is up there, but if I go up here it's like, I can't do anything here. I mean, if I get out of the water, you know. <laughs> I suspect it's just an oversight. It doesn't actually matter. I'm just nitpicking. Don't mind me. I'm only 58 meters down. So I guess that alien elevator was to get me down to water level? Seemingly. This is a long passageway. Glad I brought my ultra air tank. Hi! What are you doing down here? Living, I guess. Ladder fish and peepers. Pretty standard menagerie, considering. I beg your pardon. Didn't I bring that? I did bring that. I did bring that. <laughs> I did bring that. Thank goodness. Wow, it doesn't make anything at all when you've got the uh, photosensitivity things turned off. When you're cutting through ice. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it. Again, I'm also very glad that I brought my ultra oxygen tank. Because, uh... With one level lower, I feel like this would be a nerve-wracking business. Wait, what? Huh. And there's the bridge. Can you... Ah, uh, you can't get out here. I see. Got it. Of course not, because otherwise what would be the point of extending the bridge? Okay, so there's a... Hi. Um... Landmarks. Okay. I need to go get the beacon from my truck and mark this passageway. I'll never find it again. Also, I can look for that dock while I'm on the way. Or actually, it's probably over there, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably over there. It's fine. It's fine. Because this is a place where I came the first time I came to these islands. And then I just assumed it was the right way in. And it's not, apparently. What well, I know. What do I know about anything? Not very much. Okay. Truck. Let's see. First off, let's drop off the lithium. What I could get of it. Let's drop off a little bit of this extra stuff. Let's keep the first aid kits, though. No, no, do, do. S, yes, thank you. Oh, you can just take away the name. Fine, I guess you're S now. Um, spare batteries, I guess, are for thumpers. Don't really need to have two of those long or a spare of those. Okay, that should be fine. 
Also, we'll catch up on chat. Hello. Hello. Da -da -doo. Da -da -doo 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 -doo. In settings, you can change it from push to walk to toggle walking instead. That might be smart. I love swimming around this area. So pretty. Agreed, Jenny. The glacial caves are so pretty. Yes, pause your steps randomly so they can't hear a pattern in your steps and predict where you are on the ice. So it's seriously doing sandworms. I always figured it came down to needing to the water to project the map onto. I love this little shortcut. Actually, that makes sense that it is just the water and it still can echo or locate the walls and whatnot. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good point, actually. <laughs> I generally build a base right across from it. Yes, you can, but not to anything useful on that side. I would love to know what the eye jellies are thinking. Are they criticizing the human alien? S. Jelly judgment of the S. I think they would want to be friends. S for judgment, P for languishing. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently, yes. Okay, uh, so I need... Not that. This. Before I forget where that thing is. Okay. Nasty weather going on. Okay, so I gotta go like 200 meters this way. And it should be underneath the surface on the left. Probably over here, I think. Where's the ice that I made that hole in? Ah, there you go. Right down here, okay. I could probably leave the beacon actually at the entrance, though. It doesn't need to be on the surface. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. All right. Beacon. Drop. Caps lock, apparently. Come on. There we go. Does that actually fit? This way to get to keyword. Good. Good! It is a very long shortcut, I must admit. Still, it's kind of comforting having an escape route, even if it's not exactly a convenient one. I'd imagine you could make it through here with just an ultra oxygen tank, or not, not, not I mean, uh, the, the second level one, you know? The one that I had up until this point. Probably wouldn't even need that if you're fast about it, but I would want to try and do that laser section without it. Doesn't mean it's impossible, it just would be uncomfortable. Then again, not much is comfortable about this particular place. Narm. Narm. Further narm. Okay. So how on earth am I going to scan that worm? That's the question here. Even standing near it, I seem to get knocked back and damaged. So I'm going to have to find exactly the right location where I can get it in scan radius while it's skewered and it's got its nose buried in the snow and ideally not me. Wait. Why didn't I get the prawn when I was back at the truck? <laughs> because I wanted to mark the passageway, but then I went through the passageway. That part was the dumb part. The rest of it makes sense, but that part was dumb. What do you mean? You don't get to come in here, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Sunset. Great. Well, maybe you're right. Whoop! Hi. Yeah, 
okay. Maybe I should move. That's not the way- that's not moving! That's the opposite of moving! That's gonna hurt, isn't it? Didn't. How convenient. I'm not very good at packing this thing up on the fly. Copper ore. Cool. It's a passageway for copper and silver. That's great. Okay, I'm guessing it can't come out at me right here because it's too cramped, but um, let me catch up on Jack because I haven't done that in a while. Sorry. I love eye jellies. I sleep on on I sleep on them in one of my save files. Do you mean you put them in a alien containment and put your bed on top of it? You can sleep on them? I also like to live dangerously. A big vertical tube and then my bedroom is on the top floor. It's very fun. They look up and I'm like, hmm, neat. Wormly can't swim. No touchy worm. Is stasis rifle in the game? No, unfortunately, no. Would have made the scanning easier. Yes, it would have. Anybody know why they removed that tool? I think because it made dealing with leviathans too easy. Indeed, too strong. Yep, that's my bet. I agree. That's probably why. Because it really did made, make scanning them entirely trivial. All right, you said something about actually walking. Let's see here. Gameplay. Keyboard. Run mode. Hold to run. Press to toggle. Hold to walk. Walk by default. So I'm actually... Uh, this is walking. Okay, this is walking. Good. This is walking. Alright. Walk without rhythm and all that, you know? Oh, hey, look. That requires a prawn. How are you supposed to walk without rhythm in a prawn? <laughs> Is that just a giant titanium vein that you can only harvest with a prawn? Yeah. But I have to jump in order to get up there. Huh. Silver and copper. Distinctively, those are not magnetite, which is what I want. What is that? Hold on. Oh, it's just like grass. Okay. Sure gets dark at night, huh? Yeah, I have... No, I can. I can get up there without jumping. Okay, nice. Architect data ah, what? are so strong here. There is almost certainly vital information pertaining to my body construction nearby. Cool, great, thanks. For the jump scare, Alan. Copper armor. I'm a little tense right now, dude. Did you notice there's a worm? There's a worm. Turns out there's a worm. All, only copper and silver up here. How dare you? I mean, those are useful. Don't get me wrong. But I'm a little busy. And they specifically don't contribute to making thumpers. Which is what I want. 500 thumpers. Immediately. I wonder if they got a PDA around here. Mesh. First aid. Stayed. Hey. Snow Fox Ice Worm Attack Reduction Module lowers the frequency of attacks by ice worms. How does that work? New technology acquired. Cool. Um. What does that require? There it is. Titanium and wiring kit. I can make that. But you'd have to replace the jump module with it, wouldn't you? Yes, I think you would. 
Also, they don't have a PDA here, do they? That's strange. ton of silver and copper here if you come by and gather it all. You just have to, you know, risk life and limb in order to get it. No problem, I'm sure. Worms out. Wait, what's that? Found me. Found me. Found me. Close right when I get near the alien thing. These are just cables connecting to something big, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're nothing. Okay, I can't scan them. Fine. Fine. That's good. That's fine. <sighs> Northwest, he said. I have no idea where dogs. I know the dogs are around here somewhere. Clearly so is the worm, but... Give me that. Give it. Thank you. He surfaced somewhere, but it wasn't under me, so I guess we're fine. I'm definitely pulling a lot of attention driving this thing around. I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Where am I even? Okay, okay, okay. Everything I know is back that way. This area is huge, by the way. You mentioned that it's huge, but it absolutely is huge. Hi! figure out a good way to scan them. Don't actually want copper, I think. For once, I don't want copper. Thank you, thank you. Okay, all right, good, we got that. The dog park is a mere 700 meters away. Surely, nothing can befall me between here and there. Surely, all will be well. I haven't checked chat in a long time, I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. But anyway, there's an easy way to learn more about Wormly. Don't murder yourself over the scan. Alan says hi. Sharky goes, ah! I mean, that basically was what happened. Basically, you walk like a distracted toddler. Alcare's not for worms. Yeah, I don't try scanning it quite yet. How does that work is an excellent question that never seemed to work for me. That module also protects against drop bears. That would be convenient. Snow Fox is very loud and vibrating. The reduction module is supposed to reduce the level of vibration it produces, but, as Jenny said, it is very bully effective. Ice Worm Tunnel. Alan, don't you dare lose this body to... What did we say, young alien? Am I the only one who feels obsessively compelled to go and pick up every bit of ore and store it? No, me as well. I mean, I would like to, but, like, I also recognize that I have not very much inventory space at the moment, and I don't want to fill up on a whole bunch of stuff that I don't really need right now if I'm going to find something that I actually want soon. Because if I find magnetite, I want it, you know? Also, there's such a vast quantity of ore there that really, without bringing the prawn, there's no chance that I'm going to be able to gather any significant amount of it, you know? I have so many lockers full of wire kits and copper wire. I do need copper. Here we go. Zoom. Oh, that was the sound of him munching on a dog. The worm is everywhere and nowhere simultaneously. Oh, this is another spot that I built a base. Worm moment. Survival instinct is to pile up resources just in case. Same reason that the toilet paper was scarce when the panini fr press fried the world. I would love to try Leviathan scanning for the worm because it's just the one worm. I want to see him going. It's just, he goes all over. There's so, so much 
or you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But yes, I do absolutely need more copper because I want to label all my lockers at home. Ooh. I found something. Greenhouse. See track tele see track teleportation module. New technology acquired. This alien structure found commonly shielded from natural sunlight a tether tool. I'm getting all sorts of things from this. Um appears to be a carefully controlled containment and cultivation environment for natural flora. In other words, a greenhouse. The main chamber appears to be capable of precise temperature and humidity control, allowing plant life to be grown carefully around out, carefully outside of its natural habitat. Okay. Neat. But why did I get this vehicle upgrade from scanning that? Harnessing the power generated by ion cubes, the teleportation module creates an in interminable link between a tether tool and itself. While away from the module, navigating space and time is made simple by activating said tool, allowing the user to return to the module in the blink of an eye. How the ion cube facilitates the rapid disassembly and reassembly of organic material in a, sci in a target location is still is the, still the subject of great debate in the scientific community. MB, this module is powered by the sea truck's main cabin, requires tether tool. Link between tether and module is unaffected by distance. Where, where did that come from? I scanned a greenhouse and it was like, would you like to know how to teleport to your truck? Because here you go. I mean, yes, yes, of course I want to know how to do that. Is it just that I scanned enough alien technology that my PDA was like, you know what? I have an idea. How about teleportation? I mean, sure. Sounds good. Thanks, I guess. <sighs> would you love me if I was a worm? <laughs> There it is, the teleportation module. That's the thing that eats ion cubes. Ah, it consumes one cube every time you use it to teleport. And I was serious. Getting the ore from behind the ice is much easier with a propulsion gun because you can shift the blocks of ice. It's a horrible module. Yeah, it's not great. Very situational. When you're up a creek without a paddle, there's an ore. Ore, to use. Hehehe, <laughs> pun intended. Alan periodically gives you architect-based blueprints as he remembers more stuff. I shall vanish for now. Well, thank you for stopping by. We'll see you another time. And puts it in your PDA. Same as Quantum Locker. I see. I see. It just sort of shows up because Alan's like, hey, guess what? Here's the thing. Okay. Gotcha. So that's the thing you were talking about that eats ion cubes. Wait! Ion cube. Okay. So now I just need to find that gateway again. And activate it. Somehow. I have no idea where it was. I have no idea where it was. We're meeting the dog. Dropping down like that was probably a bad idea, huh? <laughs> a lot of dropping down going on around here. I don't much like it. Dangerous weather approaching. No. Seek shelter. Don't wanna. That's just the, that was the weather. That was the weather, not a worm. That was the weather, not a worm. What is that over there? Is that normal? Is that a normal thing? It's one of these, isn't it? It's just one of those. Yeah, it's just one of those. But what is that? Worm is eat dog. Yeah. How are there still any dogs left around here by the time I got here anyway? doing my best to walk kind of randomly 
And it does seem to be helping somewhat, but like, I also have no idea where I'm going. Zero idea what I'm trying to accomplish here. I mean, I want to find the chunk, the alien technology for sure. And I want to activate that uh, teleporter. Absolutely I do. But where is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I've been in pa like mild panic mode since I started exploring this area. So I don't know where it is. I found it once, yes. That's that's about all I can say. I found it once. Well, worm found something. It's not me. I wonder if a worm can tunnel through a frozen lake. Probably, yeah. If you can tunnel through rock, you can probably tunnel through ice. Logically speaking. Hello? He's nearby. Maybe the best idea is to hold still if I think he's nearby? Because if I react reflexively, probably that's noticeable. But I'm also getting cold. Where are you and why are you doing this to me? Because I'm delicious, I know. But stop. There's nothing up here. And if I want to get down from here, I have to jump off onto a lake, which makes a noise. So, oh boy. Yeah, like that. Interesting. Very interesting. Really was nearby, just waiting to see where I showed up. Interestingly, didn't get me. Not sure why. I'm all right with it, though. Fruit salad in mind. Shouldn't need it yet. Catching up a jet. Hmm. When I return, I should be caught up with the vids. Nice. See you, Ice Cat. Hopefully. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Ciao for now. Need beacons. Sometimes I come out here to just zoom around on the ice with Wormly. The sound effect of picking up an ion cube is so cute and satisfying. It's like picking up a little pixie. <laughs> it's true. The teleporter you can find easily once you're back at your truck. As for your goals here, generically north, northwest also as far as you can go. Where? Everywhere. All around you. Why? You're hashing his vibe. I believe in you, Jarky. You can do this. Just do your best. No pressure. I'm doing my best. You're heading south right now. Yes, because I'm trying to get back to my truck, but that's just sort of a uh, generic instinct. I probably shouldn't be doing that. If I want ore, I have to get back to the tr truck and get my prawn, but I also don't know if that's a good idea. That said, if I do gather up some more, I can then drop it off at the truck if I do make it back there. But I can't carry very much is the thing. Since I'm this far along, I may as well make it out there at this point. Oh boy. Alright. Alright. Body temperature at half. I sure wish they had a map of this side of things. That would be exceedingly helpful. I genuinely have no recollection. Oh. Anything. Wow, you can see him moving around when he's moving, huh? He's not even after me at the moment, maybe. Oh boy. Yeah, he's not subtle. Okay. Don't know what he's doing over here, but... Is it warm in here? It is, thank goodness. Worm's on the other side of the wall already. Fast when he wants to be. Fast all the time, I think. He probably made this tunnel, so presumably he can come through it. Oh, hey, we're in the safe zone. Ho! Oh. I think. I could be wrong on that front, but I'm right by the bridge, so I suspect that we're good. 
dangerous where they're approaching. Seek shelter. You got it. Shelter, you say? How about water? Seems pretty good to me. All right. So here's the thing. Yes, y'all have told me that the thing, the module I picked up ain't that great. But why don't I at least make it, you know? Why don't I... Can I not make it? <laughs> Can I not make it? Okay, I can't make that because I ain't got magnetite. Um, can I not make it here? <laughs> because it's not a seed truck or... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I can make it if I go to the... I can make it if I go to the, the, to the, to the dock that I built. I can make it there. Okay, okay. But I should get rid of the other stuff. Let's see here. I'm going to need to make... One of these. And then I need that and two titanium. And then I can make the module, which may or may not be helpful. But you know what? We're going to try it. We're going to try it. No, you need that. Get rid of that. Get rid of... There's no reason to hang on to the batteries because you can't make thumpers. Uh, keep those. Put the spy pangling away. It turns out not helpful at this very moment. Although perhaps I could use them to venture out and gather resources because I'm get. No, actually, I have no idea. I have no idea if the worm would attack a spy pangling. Maybe I shouldn't make any assumptions on that front. Here's the thing. Why don't you... switch out your batteries and store the partially dead ones? That would seem to make more sense. Okay. All right. What was here? What'd you put away? Was it the pengling? It was the pengling. Okay, that's fine. Why do you have your air bladder? Hey, why do you have your air bladder on you at the moment? You really think you're going to need that? <laughs> really sure? Okay. Did you put away all the batteries? Keep one with you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Keep one with you. There you go. Okay. That's going to be fine. Okay. All right. Can someone chat again? And then we go back out. Mm. Bepis. Wherefore Bepis, Tama? The prawn is far more capable of tanking, taking worm boops than the snow fox. That's a fair point. That is true, but it's so much less fun. This is true, alas. I've never been nommed inside of the bridge. You need the mobile vehicle to make the sea truck part. The sea truck part? Oh, no. I didn't want to, see. I didn't want to make the sea truck part. I wanted to make... Um, the module for the snow fox, which I have to just go back to the uh, pad that I've created up on the other side of the bridge. So I'll, I'll go do that. Again, y'all say that it doesn't work so well, so probably it won't work that well, but I'm still going to make it, and we're going to see what happens. I'm thinking maybe the thumper is particularly useful if you want to take the prawn in and, like, do some actual mining. Perhaps. That's kind of what I'm guessing, anyway. This is kind of an un inconvenient place to leave my truck, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see if the dock is any more convenient to the bridge, all right? Since y'all were wanting to have me actually pay attention. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. Can I turn around? Surprisingly, yes. Crunch. Hi. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing here either. Let's see here. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's a dock. That is indeed a dock. Let's see if I can get there without killing that ray. If you could just scoot a little to the left, please, sir. Or madam. Friend. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Nicely done. Nicely done. There we go. Okay. Okay. Are there some... 
peppers around here by any chance? I guess peppers mostly grow inside caves, huh? So presumably no. This isn't actually that much closer to the bridge, is it? But it's a little bit closer, maybe. Maybe a little bit closer? Could be a little bit closer. Man, this, this snowsuit sure is nice. If I hadn't had this and tried to go across this bridge, I would die immediately from exposure. Let alone the worm. This is not where you make the... This is not where you make the... This. I can't make it here. Vehicle upgrades. Yeah, I'd have to go... Where did I make the jump module? Wasn't that just part of a standard fabricator? Then why wasn't this? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, I thought you meant the teleportation one. It does not work. Just don't expect it to make you safe. It's like a bonus to die roll rather than true safety. Makes it, makes sense. Expels air. Worm, my secret weakness. I love Worm. Definitely the most memorable Leviathan in this game. Air Bladder saves the day. There's a reason he's on the intro art. Is he? I didn't even notice. Has he figured out that if you just want to exit the sea truck and not use the modules, you can point it snoot downward and skip the animation? I, ha I have figured that out. But when I'm navigating little passageways like that, I uh, haven't been doing it. You hadn't made the wiring kit, so you couldn't see it. Is that what it was? <laughs> Is that what it was? Is that all it was? Can I make it to the river from here? No. Ah! I should be taking the snow fox to run around like this, huh? Yeah, probably. Whee! Whoosh. Fine. Hello, friend. Don't mind me. I'm stuck. We'll leave it stuck. Okay, there we go. Enter truck. Okay. Oh, it is. It's under deployables. Okay. Cool. Well, as long as I can make it, I'm not going to complain too much. I don't suppose I can... Not on the truck you can. Okay, alright. Well, let's go up on the dock. Put the bike here. Then... There, that's what I need. Okay. We've only, despite the fact that the the upgrade panel has two module slots in it, in graphics, you only get one module upgrade. Actually, okay. There we go. I'm just gonna take the jump module and put it back on the truck to save inventory. Hi! I didn't know you came to the surface. Look at you. How are you still inflated like that? How is that possible? I don't even know. You must have some surface integrity that I was not expecting. Okay. That go here. Alright. Okay. Let's go. I spent all day doing that. So now I'm going to be going back over to worm, to worm Zone while it's nighttime, which is pretty cool. I'm a pretty big fan of that. I think I'll stop and charge up my bike before I do anything stupid. Which is basically entirely what we're doing here. You're absolutely right, by the way. The red button is the, the turbo boost. When you hit when you hit shift, you hit the red, boot, red button with your thumb. Look at that. And then it lights back up once the boost is ready. Huh. I had no idea. Charges. Mm -hmm. 
Such a teeny access panel. Eye jellies have magical clipping abilities, such as when one clips through my base and you realize that they're actually the size of most of a room, and this is why you bring sleeper module. I suppose you're right. Too late to think about that now, though. It's all right. Might be all right. Okay, so to the left is where I found the information about the thumper. Then I went this way, I think. Did you? The map doesn't show anything about this, right? Just, just make sure. Yeah, of course not. It's all this stuff over here. Okay. No map. No map. Okay. Cornial. I should be able to find that gateway pretty easily from the truck. We'll see if that's true. <laughs> also, I, I'm having problems. I'm having difficulties. Excuse me. Dark. Man. Alright, there we go. A little vortex of air over there. That's just cold air, right? Yeah, okay. Well, this is fun. How am I supposed to get down there? Jump? Very subtle. They'll never hear me coming. Won't break my legs at all either. No ladders, huh? <sighs> Alright. So I'm supposed to be going generically northwest. Okay. Hmm. So the past path past the yeah. So the path past the thumper info is essentially the main way in, and then there's a side way which comes out on a frozen lake. Look, I never claimed you would find it easily from here. Also, when I said from the truck, you have that shortcut. That's what I meant. Oh, that one. The shortcut goes to the... You're right. I forgot. You can go through the ice, and that leads you to the alien elevator, which is right by the... What am I... Listen, when I get nervous... My brain doesn't retain information very well, it turns out. So let's just go back. Let's just go through the passageway. What could I possibly stand to lose by going through the passageway again? It's fine. It only takes half an hour. It's fine. It's fine. Worm doesn't know I'm here. He was just roaring for fun. Worm can't cross the bridge. Worm is a bridge. Come here, you. All right. Went too far. Right here. Right here. Okay. Back to this way to get skewered. Plus, I'm pretty sure that there are peppers in that uh, center with the alien gate. Somewhere, anyway. So I can get my... I can quench my thirst once I get down there. And I can find out where that teleport goes to. I wonder if it just goes to the other gate that I found, the one that was inactive, you know? That's the only one I've found, after all. I don't remember where it was, but if I step through it, then hopefully I'll remember. Might have been in the mine? I don't think so, though. Hopefully we'll find out soon. Nah, I wasn't in the mine. I don't think. There was an artifact in there, but there wasn't a teleportation gate, I don't think. But I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Go, 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 go. Okay, back into the elevator. Way! I want to make that absolutely clear and dissociate myself from those claims. Once you see the architect markers, follow them like your life depends on it. Felix's playthrough must be fraught with an immense amount of danger after learning his many experiences. I salute you, brave sir. Also, I think there are bubbles you can cut for air in that passage. Really? I see. Man, he sure leaves that map on all the time. Yeah, why not? It's great. 
It's very shiny. And here we are. I totally forgot that this shortcut left led to this. Thank you for the reminder. All right, Cuban. Gate on. Let's find out where it goes. Nice. The worm was so angry that I activated the gate. So angry. I've been here? I have, haven't I? I have. Look at those open chests. Yes, I've been here. Yes, I've been here. Uh, which center is this? Which one is this? This is the, this is the one where I first found, um, isn't this the one where, uh, Emmanuel and, uh, Fred were stationed? No, Emmanuel and Fred were on land over at Delta. Uh, shoot, which one was this one? Oh, don't get caught on the friggin' open box, it's fine. I'm sure y'all are telling me where I am. I'm gonna look around first. <laughs> Administration! Right, 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 this is the place where what's her bucket was. The one who I was suspicious of at first, and, uh... Don't really remember if we ever cleared her name, really. She seemed to be better about things than Emmanuel was. Well, that doesn't take much. Why is this not open? Okay, okay, so where where are you? Remember, use your brain, remember things. And by use your brain, I mean use your map. Okay, so I'm at this? No. Could be at this. No, this is Phi. You're, you are, you, you were over there. No? Z we're not at zero, are we? Have I been to zero? Xenobiological research. Why don't I remember anything? Why doesn't my brain work where I want it to? What's wrong with me? I don't know. All right, I'm reading chat. Da -da -do -da -da -da. My first time exploring the Arctic Spires, I ended up in the second section, the larger one, where the worm gets super aggressive at night. In a blizzard. It was very stressful. Yeah. I sort of stumbled into the gold head first while being wormed. That would be. Whoops. But, Sharky, if you need a visual of this place, I can try and describe it. It's basically three sections conducted by passages. A smaller section of spires where the worm is slightly less aggressive, the larger northern section where your gold is, and a small side passage where is the frozen lake. You walked across that earlier. I did, and I was like, what, what? Can you go through lakes? I remember. Side passages east of the main sections. Why not? Because the glow makes it hard to see anything else. You can't see what you're mapping out. Your way. You can't see what you're mapping your way through. I suppose that's true. But I, I, I'm, I'm doing fine. I don't know. Welcome back to Phi Robotics. This is, oh, this is Phi Robotics. So it doesn't actually go that far back. Got it. I was over here. And I just teleported over to here. Got it. Thank you for the clarification. Zeta. We don't trust Zeta. She's more corporate. She is, but not as much as Emmanuel. Has he made it to zero? No. He hasn't found the way in. No, I haven't. I also haven't been looking, but I intend to at some point. Omega and Omega and Zero I haven't been to. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go back to the gate. Do you remember how to get back to the gate? I think so. Okay, well, let's see if you do. Okay. Hey, look at that. Phi. Is that a look at that? And then be like, hey, I'm at Phi. Who was stationed here, anyway? Sam. Zeta. Well, I, can say I didn't scan Zeta's nameplate, huh? Zeta Landon, Senior Scientist Robotics, reports to Emmanuel Desjardins, current project oversight of all robotics projects. Current over current project. Well, I guess this is outdated information. Personality, bleh. I don't know. Did I ever go in here? Did I not ever go in here? Scan your bed. I did scan your bed. So I have been here before. I just didn't scan her nameplate. Okay. And this was Sam's room, but they've stripped her nameplate. Also, I left a first aid kit here. <laughs> I guess I'll take that. 
Okay. All right, all right, I'm going back. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I am, I'm going. Probably I just closed the door to Zeta's pod after I ostensibly finished exploring it, despite the fact that they didn't scan her nameplate. Doing a very good job here. Very thorough. No complaints whatsoever. Oh, yeah! Okay, we're back. Now. That's the way out of here. Let's go that way. So now I have a teleportation back to Phi. Which is nice. I suppose. If I want to make my way out of here in a more peaceful fashion than... the landscape normally affords me. But where am I? Good question. I'm facing northeast. There's a wall. Right, this is up the double ladders. The worm's here. But I'm guessing you can't get to the top of this thing. Then again, if I want to get down without making a bunch of noise and breaking my legs, I have to go down the ladders, so I guess let's do that. Oh, you heard me, did ya? Hi! Nice try. Oh, you got me! I wasn't actually expecting that to get me. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Lesson learned, I guess. Hmm. Well, that's fun. I probably can... I can afford to take another hit, but if I take another hit, I'm going to have to heal immediately or die utterly, so... Okay, the truck's over there. No, the truck's over there, to the south. I need to go north. Okay. 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 Hope he's not still just sitting there waiting. Guess we'll find out if he is. I keep acting like if I, if I stop and look a different direction, it's gonna make any difference whatsoever. not how it works, as far as I can tell. North, huh? Cave. Let's warm up. Check for peppers while I'm in here. Come on, you gotta have some peppers in here, right? Eh? They don't, as it turns out, have to have any peppers in here. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We go back, we continue going north. I'm acting under the assumption that he can't get me while I'm in the tunnel. But I recognize I might be wrong about that. Clearly you're nearby. Maybe if I hang out for a second, you'll be chill for five seconds. West. This way. I've been here. I looted that particular chunk of titanium out of that crater. I did that. Back at the place that has the big old spire. I remember this. Cool. I jumped. I shouldn't have. Hi! Aren't you 
aren't you friendly? Thanks for the welcome. Okay. Well. Can't see the thing. Can't see the thing. The fog is weirdly thick. Probably don't break open outcroppings, huh? <laughs> Clunky, tappy noises break open the rocks. They'll never notice. Is that a... That looks man-made over there in the corner. But it's the wrong direction. I'm kind of a doing a thing. I wonder if he can get me under here. Probably. He's very big. All the alien cables are facing this direction, so I assume this is where I'm going. Plus, you know, he did say go northwest, so. Alan, I mean. That looks like pepper plant. I want peppers. Those are pepper plants. Good, good, good. Allow me to stuff my face real quick. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. I will save one for later. North, northwest, okay. Can't see anything. Okay, it's nearby, but it hadn't actually detected me specifically yet. Despite my running away reflexively. Um, what's up here? Frozen river. Let's see where it goes, real quick, like. As fast as I can go while walking. <laughs> I don't think he's ever attacked me when I'm on a frozen surface. Let's try and be a little bit daring here. And see if I get clobbered for it. Okay, this is circling back towards where I came from. We don't want to go this way. This is just a little passageway. Maybe this is even a passageway to the side area. But that was to the east and this is to the west. So never mind, I don't know. Either way. Not this way. Follow the alien cables. Go to the direction where the worm was, you know? Obviously, if the worm's between you and a place, you probably want to go there. That's how these things work. Uh, he really did eat all the dogs nearby, didn't he? He just got bored and ate everybody. What a hobby. Well, he's not near me at the moment. Cave. Hey, okay, guess what? I'm not in safe in the cave. Cave not safe. Cave not safe. Cave not safe. Makes sense. It's tunneled by worms. And the worms keep it. The way is worms. Okay, this is just ore, huh? Is that magnetite? Are you magnetite? No, you're lithium. Well, fine, I'll take it. I want lithium. Give me the lithium. My arms are so short! Why are my arms so short? Ah, I can't. <sighs> Repulsion rifle, huh? Yeah, probably. Didn't bring it. It's back at home. Stop putting away your flashlight. It's very dark with no light, as it turns out. Can you imagine? 
turns out when there's no light, it's dark. Lithium? You gonna clobber me again? Please don't. I'm just taking your lithium. You're not using it. Why are my arms so short? I can't jump right now or the worm comes. Give me the... Give me! How many... Though I can't have it. Ah, it's fine. Leave. <laughs> Maybe I should check chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Da da do da 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 do do. Hang on. She was just better at placating Sam. Indeed, walking different different is the only thing that makes a difference. Pepper addict spotted. Peppers don't regrow outside of your base. Interesting assumption that. I thought that they. Did, huh? I'm fairly sure they do. Do they? I've been to that one little cave by the entrance in the glacier a few times and they regrow in there. I thought I wiped one out and kept an eye on it for quite a while. No new peppers. Huh. Interesting. Shrug. Maybe they changed it. Maybe I'm the confuzzled one. Came up to yell at you. Hiding under the wizard hat. <laughs> An amusing bug during beta. The peppers get hotter as they decompose, right? There was something wrong with the math for a while. And if you ate one, you got burned. Oh no. You could do some serious damage to yourself. That is very funny, it is. I hadn't noticed they get hotter as they decompose because I always ate them right away. Hungry for them peppies. Look at that. 33. I'll, have, I'll keep an eye on it and see what it gets to. It was that way for a lo quite a long time. Peppers were a time bomb. They do. They also don't cause as many old food issues as most other things. Hello. Hello, Wormly. Worm. Worm made these caves. Do you think you can hide in here? <laughs> yeah, about the time you can't get the magnetite, you'll regret not listening. Listen, I I feel like you told me that when I wasn't at home. I don't know. Maybe you told me when I was at, maybe you said it when I was at home and I didn't check it until I was not at home, in which case, yeah, it's my fault. But it's also huge, the dang thing is. That said, I suppose it doesn't really hurt to store it in my uh, truck and uh, have it available now that I have a storage module, you know. I'll bear it in mind next time I'm home, but at the moment, I'm in danger. Is that lithium? Give it. Give it. Give it. I can't crouch either. My knees do not bend. Fine, listen. Guess I don't get the stuff. It's fine. I didn't want it. I like how I went all the way back and made that. I went all the way back and made that Snow Fox module, and then I just am not using it. <laughs> At all! It does seem like my guess that if you remain largely s You gotta... Hey, listen, there's a dog over there. Would you eat the dog, please? Fine. You know what? Fine. 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 What? Why? What? What? How? Okay, I'm in here now. I'm in here now. I don't know how that happened. I guess I fell in a hole. Cool. Um. Yeah, there's a hole. <laughs> but, I'm in a passageway that an alien cable is leading to, so maybe this is a good hole? Oh, this looks like a good hole. Oh, this looks like a pretty good hole. This looks like a pretty good haul. Can I come in? Thank you. Oh, it's a pretty good haul. Large emerald? 
Large emerald. Pure emerald is typically, typically colorless. These large crystals contain trace amounts of chromium, leading to the development of the distinctive green color seen here. Mining activity near these crystals suggests that they are valued for their applications in architect technology. Really? But not in Altera stuff, which is why I can't pick it up. I guess. I ain't no architect. And therefore, I can't use their stuff. I guess. What? Hello? Are you gonna drop that on me? Don't. What is... Making that crinkling noise. You? You? Unclear. You gotta haul the prawn in here at some point, huh? If I want all these ion cubes. Okay, well. Let us continue to have a look at. Hmm? Arm! Yo, Alan, how come y'all got two fingers? Like crab claws. That doesn't seem particularly efficient, does it? Articulated digits are pretty cool, man. Oh, whatever, let's see what he has to say about it. Architect tissue. Ah. In a second there, Robin. Uh, architect tissue. A leather-like tissue sample of alien origin. DNA markers indicate a complex mixture synthesized from over 20 different sources. <laughs> Oh boy. The tissue sample incorporates advanced biocomposites, resulting in unique mechanical properties. Compression, extremely high compressive strength, protects against external forces and may indicate adaptation to extreme environments. Impact, high resistance to damage from high energy impacts. Elasticity, low modulus of elasticity, el elasticity allows tissue to conform and stretch in response to body locomotion. Okay. Cool. So it's skin, but it's like synthetic skin. It's pretty cool. All right. Go ahead. That is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. Yeah. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Huh, like stem cells. So what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. Uh-huh. So you're not answering the question, though, Alan. <laughs> you're specifically not answering the question, though, there, Alan. All right, cool. Well, I got his skin. Well, I learned how to make his skin anyway. Right? Presumably? Root pustule times two. Synthetic fibers. Gel sac times two. Synthetic fibers I know how to make. Root pustules. Are those the things that I... No, those were red. The things that I found and gathered and put in my house, those are red. And I don't remember what they go into. They went into, like, one of these things. Mm, benzene? Flowering spores. Right. I haven't found root pustules. That's new to me. Gotcha. I can make this. Can't make that yet. Gotta find root pustules. Catching up. Catching up on chat. Hello. Territorial over lithium. That's a new one. Make more of them. Lithium noises. Robin has musculoskeletal tissue issues. Be nice. <laughs> Special sharky lithium noises to make it get closer. It didn't work, unfortunately. Fun fact. If you're close to him when he does that circling motion with his head, he'll grab you and eat you. I got that impression, but good to know. Thank you. Same low health requirements as with other leviathans, though. Fun fact that I can verify. Surprise hotel... Surprise hole. I read it as hotel, but it's a hole. He found it. Now he will stay in the hole. Now will he stay in the hole? Good hole. Hole. That's some good hole. Wait, no. Best hole. Seems like a great hole. Hole. Cube. Ion cube crinkles. B cube. Arm. All right, cool. Well, I got his skin. Aha, uh -huh, so the fact that he's never picked up a root pustule because he tried with the large ones couldn't and never tried again. Bit of an issue. 
Okay, hang on. Okay, hang on. Root pustules, huh? Flora. C, presumably. Shoot. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> uh, survival. No. Exploitable. Reaper's wine glass, rhizoid, stock and cap, sulfur plant, trinity barnacle. I wouldn't be surprised if it had something to do with the Reaper's wine glass. I didn't explore that region particularly well because I didn't have the capacity to do so in a machine at the time. I should go back there at some point, huh? That was past Maida's place into the volcanic area, and down, where there were those crystals growing, and y'all were talking about something redacted being down there, and that it was really cool, but I never saw it because I couldn't breathe. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. But here's a clue for you. Creep vine. Really? All right, well, something I need to work on, apparently. Either way, great, we got this. And now I just need to go back. <laughs> now I just need to go back. No problem. Just go back. It's fine. Just go back. I don't know which way is back. <laughs> I jumped in a hole. North Northwest to get here, so southeast to get back seems about reasonable. Moon's cool. Moon's always cool. You're cool too, other moon. Sun's arising. forgot to check the heat level on it. Sorry. I was just like, I need water. And then I, I, I did a thing. Mm. There's one more thing to find here. Here's an entry for kelp root under sea flora. Up in the north. Try going as north as you can. Okay, I can do that. I suppose I should not flee immediately. Let's see. Kelp root. Some kelp roots grow, grow pustule along that stem. It was formed by the plant slowly ejecting out toxic materials when it absorbed the extent of root system. Harvestable for resources used in fabrication. Well, where did I find that? Root system anchors deep into the rocky walls of the cave. That was, that was in the kelp tunnels, wasn't it? That would make sense. All right. Green zone. Got to go back there at some point. Gotcha. All right. Skeletons. Dogs. That's a big skeleton, though. Ice worm bones. Scans of the ice worm's bones show that they have a surprising degree of flexion in them. This likely allows the bones to compress inward when the ice worm is burrowing. A total rigidity in the bone structure might result in deformation of the skeletal structure over time. There's evidence of muscle insertions that would manipulate the compression or decompression of the ice worm's long rib cage. These ice worm bones appear relatively intact. It seems that other large land predators in the region tend to leave the worm carcass alone after death. I can't imagine why. 
Root pustules sound like plant plague right off the bat. It is not, but an, it sure does paint an eerily similar picture in my mind. It does. I expect if he leaves, he'll come back. No signs for us. You could pick a pepper and stuff it in a locker. Oh, he did up going north, though. Maybe he'll find it. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> huh. Well, this is now more... Whoa, hang on. That's a fresh worm corpse over there, isn't it? That's where I can scan it. Probably dangerous to do what I just did. Let's chill for a second. In all senses of the word. Then again, maybe the worm won't come to the graveyard. Maybe it has more respect than I do. Look at that. What a big feller. Hi. Look at that. What is it with all the creatures in the Arctic area of 4546B four, 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 having mouths that are made up of several flaps with lined with teeth that extend outward and then eat you? Why, why is it dark? Hey, nighttime, I guess, but it seems really dark, unusually so. Anyway, scan! Oh, that was quick. <laughs> that was weirdly quick. Ice worm, an extremely large and dangerous leviathan, roughly 95 meters long, with a thick plated exoskeleton that burrows through dense ice shells with minimal resistance plating. The ice worm is covered in a thick exoskeleton with backwards facing spikes. The exoskeleton protects the soft upper body of the ice worm as it moves through the ice. The spikes create treads that rapidly shuttle melted water back as it burrows, similar to tire treads. The anterior of the ice worm is covered in a thicker skin that doesn't require plating. Superheated horn. The horn of the ice worm is the thickest part of the creature. The inner chambers of the horn are filled with deposits of raw alkali metals that react violently with water, creating an exothermic chemical reaction. That is not how I was expecting it worked. As the ice worm burrows, small microscopic grooves, small microscopic grooves, mind you, not the big kind, uh, continuously channel water into these chambers, allowing it to burrow with ease. Got it. So the, the metals react with the water. There's an exothermic chemical reaction which clears the way in front of it and generates water, which goes into its channels and generates another exothermic chemical reaction. It's pretty neat. The ice behaviors. The ice worm is an ambush predator. It relies on sound traveling through the ice to alert it to potential prey. It then lunges through the ice and uses its horn and mandibles to attack. The ice worm can be temporarily distracted through the use of sonic devices. Assessment. Aggressive and lethal. Avoid. I'm trying. I'm trying. I say that, but I am now at the very heart of its territory, as deep as it goes, so I guess I'm not trying very hard. Ha. Huh. There we go. Worm. Worm. There's something else up here, though, isn't there? Friend? Uh, I think there's one small architect nubbin in a cave somewhere. I don't remember. Friend. Disclaimer. Don't try this at home, kids. There's a friend in a cave if you take your, you take home. I forget which cave. I guess I never found that one. The ones I found were all out in the icebergs. But I thought that that was what you were guiding him to, along with the worm. Worm. You cannot avoid worm. I cannot avoid worm. It's true. The worm will always find me. What do you mean I can't climb on the worm? What do you mean I can't climb on the worm? There. Perfect. I left the... I left Pengla at home. I, by home, at home, I mean the truck. So, no selfie for me, I guess. Dang it. Alright, look for caves. It's awfully cold out here, remember that. How did this thing get just ripped in half like this? What happened to you? Was there infighting? Is that a thing? Can there only be one ice worm at a time? One of them grows up and immediately slaughters the previous adult? That would be weird. Must 
do, though. That was dog eating noise, huh? I'm not seeing any cave, which is a bit of a concern. He's eating all the dogs, every dog, all in a row. No idea of preserving resources. How are you? Have you stayed alive this long? That's what I want to know. If you're going through dogs at that rate. You have to go to some sort of like dog nexus, and we ain't got one of those around here. Lithium. Lithium. Can't have any of it. No caves. I probably went the wrong way for cave, huh? Maybe I should catch up on chat. <laughs> Who's the worm now? I assume another worm happened to him. They're very territorial, given there's only one here. Maybe the female kills the male after they mate or something. That actually seems quite practical, yeah. Not practical, but, you know, that seems believable, I should say. There are plenty of species that do that sort of thing takes care of the procreation of the species while also killing everybody around is still fine that would seem to make plenty of sense what I want to be able to use my map up here where are my caves I need a cave why you got no caves yes I know you're cold Robin I'm working on it you've got fruit salad don't worry about it worst comes to worst we eat a fruit salad can't see anything Hi. Yeah, okay. No wonder the worm's more aggressive up here. This is home territory, huh? I've come considerably south at this point, so... Dog eating noise, I think. Not sure where you're getting all the dogs from. Ah. <laughs> There aren't males on this planet. Don't forget the fruit salad if you get too cold. I remember. Thank you. Oh, yeah, true. They reproduce asexually. Yummy, yummy. Jenny! Just Eggers. Autocorrect hates me, but it was funny. I wonder what you said. <laughs> but it's gone. And that's fine. Well, that's the thing about the snowsuit, is it takes this period where you're getting colder and colder before you need to necessarily do something about it, and it draws it way out, which means you're technically suffering for longer. So that's fun. There's the graveyard. I didn't see a cave in the graveyard. That doesn't mean there wasn't one there, but I sure didn't see it. Starting to hear my heart pound in my ears. Which is one of those things that happens when you're nearly about to die. But again, I got double fruit salad. I'll be fine. I just would like to find the cave instead. Since I hear there's one up here. Somewhere. Hypothermia imminent. I'm fine. You know nothing. Oh, she's making all little sad cold noises now. But lithium. Why am I so bad at grabbing lithium? Because you're supposed to bring a cannon. I get it. I get it. I'm sorry, alright? I didn't know that was what their intended usage was. What is... Oh, this is the alien cave? Is this the alien cave? I guess I could go in the alien cave, but it seems like a waste of... Nah, it's fine. Do it. It's fine. Do it. Save your fruit salad. Hang out with the alien some more. <laughs> Worm can't get you in the alien cave. You'll be fine. I like the idea that you can, you can, you know, venture that close to hypothermia, and there's no negative repercussions as long as you warm up. You're fine. <laughs> no lost fing fingers or nothing. We're good. We are good. Don't worry about it. I don't know where the cave is. <laughs> I see. Cold Robin. 
This is stressing me out as much as nearly drowning. Maybe I'm remembering the wrong side, but I know there are one or two up here where you freeze your tushy off. No, there's one in the spires, according to Wiki, but I never found it. Wait, are we talking about a tri-valve? Is that what you meant by friend? Hmm. This is Arctic Spires. Is this the Spires? I was never any good at knowing the names unless they were in the game. Uh, yeah, apparently it's like Arctic Spires. It seems to make sense given, you know, the nature of the place we're at, but, um, I don't know. <laughs> I've never been clear on how people learn the names of these zones. Sometimes it's mentioned in, like, a recording or something, but a lot of it seems like it never comes up. You just know based on, like, community posts or something? Dog! You sure you want to be making noises up here? You know where you are. Come on, man. I mean, feel free. Go ahead and attract the attention of the locals. It's fine with me, but... Seems like a dumb move, that's all. I don't know where the cave is. <laughs> Unless this is the cave. I went in here before. I did. Was it just minerals down here? It was just minerals down here, wasn't it? Unless this is where it is. Unless there's like an egg or something down here. Dog making dog sounds. Sure wish the worm would pay attention to the dog sounds. Be pretty cool. Is it actually going to follow me down here? Good thing I brought flares, if so. Man. It's totally coming in here. <laughs> it's 100% coming in here. gonna be very disappointed when you come around the corner and there's fire. Oh, good. Well, guess who's here? One. Gang's all here. <sighs> this is the only cave I can find. I think I'm probably gonna just get out of here because... <laughs> because it's incredibly hostile over here, as it turns out. It's gonna have a little water. Dog is still pursuing me, huh? Fun. Fun times with a persistent dog. All right. Well. Well, well, well. I'm going to just keep moving. When at first you said friend, I thought maybe you meant there was like a leviathan egg, which would have been, I think, unprecedented. But also it would be incredibly impractical trying to raise one of those in alien containment. Does this go to the frozen lake? It's west. But it's relatively safe as far as I know, right? Okay, then yeah, I just traced the whole edge of the crater exploring and ran across it. I shan't say what you're looking for, except that there are easier ones to find than this one. There certainly are. Also, I know the names because of the map mod I use has the names. You can find them out by opening console and looking at the biome your name you're in. I see. I also found the edge of the map. It's a bit stressful. The thing Jenny's talking about is apparently in the frozen lake section, huh? Sharky thinking about the dog making noise on the ice. Or near a, f a frozen lake, at least. Party time. My evil plan is working. Yeah, it probably isn't worth your time. It was just fun. I, mean, I had hours to spend doodling around. It is danger news here. But if you want to have a scoot around the icebergs near the glacier before the end of the stream, well, shan't. Shan't say. I wish for ice worm egg. Also, leviathan eggs aren't a precedent. Glow whales are leviathans. You're a very good, you have a very good point there. I do, too. True. Yes. Um... I actually just looked at the time and realized what time it was. <laughs> I had no idea we had come this far. It turns out that the time goes fast when you're being hunted by an enormous worm. Well, how am 
I supposed to get down here safely? That's a one-way ticket for sure. I'm fine with it. You gotta be kidding me! So many dogs! Listen! I'm leaving! I am leaving. Hi. Please make some noises. Attract the locals for me. It'll be fun. Thank you for attracting the locals. Crunch. Not crunch. I floated down gently and landed safely. What do you know about that? It definitely does reduce my rate of encounter, seemingly, but there it is. If I just keep rolling. Maybe I'll be fine. Not stopping, not looking, not doing nothing. Nope. Don't care. As long as this path eventually goes where I want to get. Which way? Which way? Ah! <laughs> I'm back! I'm back! I am back! Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh. I can. I can fix it myself. I can fix it myself. We're good. Over here, Scoot over here. There you go. There you go. There you go. No, no, not like that. Pick it up. Pick it. I can't pick it up. I have to get it off the pad in order to pick it up. There. Now pick it up. Thank you. And then you. There. Okay. All right. Dangerous weather approaching. I don't even care. Shelter. You don't, don't even talk to me about danger. I don't think or two about danger at the moment. Thank you. Plus, I have a freaking snowsuit on. Pay attention, PDA. <sighs> okay. Okay, good. Okay, cool. All right, well. I can't get in the truck. <laughs> I left it at the surface and now I'm banned from entering my truck. Ow, stop it. That hurt kind of a lot. How dare you? <sighs> what, Alan? Yes. You have found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. Wait. You have such a way with words. Is that... Sarcasm. It Never. was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? What would As stop the body from getting infected? the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned you were see. developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. Wow. Gotcha. So their very existence is extremely irresponsible in the presence of an infection in in infectious thing. Infect vector. Infection vector. Infector. That's actually probably a word. Um... What was I going to say about something that Alan said right at the beginning? He said that we got two of the three, and that's as close as he's come to autonomy in a long time. Does that mean that he found one of them before? Otherwise, wouldn't finding one of the three be as close as he'd gotten in a long time? I don't know, Alan. I don't know what you're talking about. 
bedtime deal. If you go to bed, I will go to bed. <laughs> deal, I guess. Time passes while streaming and screaming in terror. Wolf. Feel free to get rest whenever you need it. Your health comes first, please, and thank you. I actually might have done a short stream if I hadn't completely missed the part where we've been going four hours. <laughs> I was so stressed out by Ice Worm that I um <laughs> didn't even notice. Ice Worm said, that's right, leave! That zone takes years off your life. I love Arctic Spires so, so, so much. It's really cool. It's really, really well done. It's genuinely so good. It certainly gets the heart of pumping. Terrifying, but good. It's like Explore, Explore. Ah, okay, I'm alive, Explore, Explore. <laughs> Dangerous Ice Worm approaching. Seek shelter. <laughs> Rinse your feet. Alan, baby boy. Tissues. Ah, yes, wonderful planning on their part. I really like that a primary concern of the architects was this can infect everyone that we have genes from. I mean, it makes sense. It's only responsible, and they do seem to have, like, some responsibility going on, which is good under the circumstances. I think he might be counting Cube as partial autonomy. Before the facility broke, it probably had arms he could use. That's a very good point, actually. He did have a body, sort of, at that point. It just wasn't a very helpful one for most scenarios. Hmm. Iceworm is a hell of a drug. Yes. Good stream. Thanks for, thanks for it, but now it's time for sleep. It is, absolutely. Excellent stream. Great. Yes, now sleep. I will try. <laughs> I will try. Hopefully I won't dream myself awake in the middle of the night again and then, you know, hang out for two and a half hours waiting for sleep to return. But we'll see how it goes. And thank you for coming to the stream. I appreciate you. And I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If, you're, if you didn't enjoy it, I hope that you, you, you do enjoy it next time or something. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm sorry. Now that the wor now that the threat of worm is gone, I, I I'm collapsing into a pile of sludge. But thank you for coming to the stream. The next one will be next Sunday as usual, and I'm gonna go sleep. So you all have yourself a good night or day, or both and both. Do both. Do both, as many times as you want, and then hopefully see you in a few days. Okay. All right. Good night.